All right, microphone check. One, two, skip the bullshit. You already know the Gemini Scorpio podcast is here. You know hey, vibes. Mr. J Hill, I'm here. Taylor Bay is here. Miss Greenaway is in the building. Alexander Blanc is here. Uh, for all the new listeners, we want to say we appreciate y'all for tuning in. Um, I am the Gemini. Sade is a Scorpio. You already know. And then the gang. Also, uh, 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 big Scorpion. Big don't Scorpion. play with me. Cancer Period. vibes He's over cancer. here. Yes, sir. If you don't understand, it's the Gemini Scorpio podcast. And then, you know, we got cancer. the gang with us. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> just letting y'all know for people that's asking, like, what the hell? I don't know who's the Gemini, who's the Scorpio. Facts. Just letting y'all know. Um, yo, the whole gang is in the building. God damn, let's see if I can do this. We got uh Gio the Leo is in the building. Uh yeah. is it drinks by Lex or is it just just Lex? Sexy Lexi. Lex in Lex the city, city is in the building. Uh Wyman J Productions is here. Joseph D. Friend is here. Uh Pink Celebrity is here. Sherm is in the building. Yeah. 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 We got some extra guests here too. But um, you know, um before we get the show popping. Uh, somebody wanted to come and do something special for yes, you guys. Yes, we have Vive collection up in the building. Jay about to get on me already because I'm on it. my phone. Listen, right, sir, let's get it. Let's I'm get getting it. Yes. She Vive drop collection. Off gifts. She Ooh, came out here because I love me some gifts. Yes, bearing gifts. She is. First of all, these bags are gorgeous. She has a bag that is like beautiful. Vibe collection. Make sure you follow the owner. It's Black owned is here. Black owned. Okay. Cute as hell. Genuine leather. Yes, yeah, uh -huh. you heard it. We give it. Uh, is it like? It's, it's looking like some type of um, high quality. It's high it luxury, luxury, luxury bag. Luxury yeah, it's one hundred percent genuine leather. So, okay, my name is Talisha, and I am the creative mind behind Vibe Collection. And so, I created this design, kind of to just empower women. And so, as you can see, the shape is like a pyramid slash triangle. And you know, like back in ancient Egyptian times, the um, pharaohs and kings and queens were buried in pyramids. And so I just wanted to like instill that black power back yeah. into our black yeah. people. Yeah. 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 The back is so cute. No, it's so yes. cute. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you guys for having me. I really appreciate it. No, thank it. you. Queen. We appreciate I'm you. I'm about to wear my shit right now. My shit, my shit. I'm finna put my hookah in my bag because it could fit. Yeah, hookah. Wait, you what the fuck? I think we're burning leather. I don't think that would work the, like that. Not the cold, but I could travel with my hookah now. Y'all feel what I'm saying? You would put your hookah in a bag like nah. that? It's like, nah, I'm just joking. It's this I is mean, so new, cute. New bag. New bag for my new hair. New yes. Because I'm feeling all the shout black vibes. the hair. The black nah, owned yeah, vibes. You know, I've been shopping you know big black owned bags lately and they're giving. New okay, bag. First ready? of all, it's about time that black women started designing what we're wearing. Because Period. we know what we want to look like. Exactly. And there be a lot of men designing. Yeah, I'm putting my Dior so bag like to the side, designers? babe. I'm if sorry. they black. But if it's a you know man. me, I'm rooting for everybody that's black. Of course, but <laughs> if it, 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 it got to be a woman though, it is. I mean, nah, I prefer her as a guy. Yeah, that's what I thought she was going when she said. No, that. no I, I mean, prefer anyone who's black. Yeah. But I just, I just okay, love Lisa. when. Thank you. Alex. <laughs> <laughs> I just love when black women design stuff because it's like okay, we set the standard yeah. for the fashion for these Euro European cultures. For sure. We're setting the standard for real. Still so in a large just, rip. Yeah. So it's so much more just wavy when a black person does it because we know exactly what we want to look like. And I love I love it in luxury. It's high quality. It doesn't look all cheap and stuff exactly. like that. Like you know, I love to support black owned, but I love it better when it's actually done right. Okay. So, yes. You feel what I'm saying? Shout, Shout out, out to yeah, Vibe our, Collection. Our, Make sure you follow owned her businesses out there. Yes. I'd love to see it. Set this somewhere. Don't put, put, nobody put set my bag tree. on the floor. Oh yeah, put it on the tree. It's a gift. It's but a don't gift. put it on the floor because that's genuine leather, baby. Period. But I think I like the little things. I don't know. Whatever. Um. <laughs> so yo, the last show of 2020. Let's do uh, a small recap, man. Um, oh, child, it's been a long two weeks. It's been a long year. Yeah. Let's 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 let's, let's reflect on the year for let's a second. Let's get it. Um. So you know, we first started off. Just me and Sade, and like we would have our arguments on camera, like real raw, uncut, just relationship my shit. Fucking nerves. And you know, we was like, "What made us like say like let's expand?" Well, know. you said it was because of your competition mm. with me of being right. You know, mm. saying me, I was just that's you why know, we started. Yeah, 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 being transparent, letting people know we go. You know, We're all couples got their shit, and it's all good to be authentic and transparent. You know what I'm saying? So we all could grow through it. So we talked. Jay about just wanted show. to show that he was more right than I am, and yeah. he, as the and show he's has still shown, wrong. Thank you. So. <laughs> All that to say, he ain't got nothing to say. Yeah, for me it was real. Okay, all right. So we talking about the beginning of the show. All right. So for me it was, you know, wanted to start the show because like 
I'm a Gemini. So like everybody that I know always said they hated Gemini, right? Everybody like they crazy, they wild, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm like, okay. So when I met Sade, it was my first time ever dealing with a Scorpio, but you I got like the vibes. same energy. Like everybody was like- Cause we match energy. You already know. Everybody was like, you know, um, Scorpios are just crazy and shit. And I'm like, that's my first time seeing that's that. That's not what outside they told of, you. That that's is. They said Scorpios are a one of a kind, loyal, beautiful, passionate. That's that delusional shit. Passionate. But, what? But, okay, whatever, whatever. So I'm finished telling my side of the story. So yeah, so everybody that's the thing was saying, about Geminis. They always got their own unorthodox side. Yeah, and that's here fine. comes some illogical that's, shit. Y'all ready? It's Come up. on. Come on, Jay. Hey, hey, so yeah, so like we everybody get to the park. Exactly, the right? We need to get the answer. I thought I got to get the answer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold up, somebody got to fix my mic. It keep dropping. Yeah, can, I'm can. trying to. Yeah, um, but no, I mean, Jay, go ahead and tell your illogical story. We're listening. Go while he's fixing my mic. Yeah, so basically, they like, yo, Scorpios are crazy. I never heard of this shit for real. So I'm like, I always heard like people said they how they don't like Gemini's, and I'm like, all right. So I did a poll. Like, what's the most hated sign? Gemini's a Scorpio and it was like even for real mm. so I'm like we should do a fucking show cause like she always swears she got the answers I be swearing I got the answers I know a little of everything but nothing to nothing so I'm like yo let's uh <laughs> let's do a show together Gemini Scorpio podcast and you know and that's when we started the beginning of this right and then we was like yo let's get on some other get people get our bomb ass co-host in yeah. you know what I'm saying you know, the vibes. Yeah. you know I came on this motherfucker screaming stirring the pot <laughs> but now I we talk to nice levels boys they had to I turn know the levels down. look at the growth I came on here angry y'all that's what they said I'm angry but I'm all Who happy now and cool you know what they say Jay hate women I hate so it's yeah, okay. they say I hate women I was angry that's what they say I just feel from? like y'all don't fucking hold y'all have no accountability. So I don't hate women. It's just, I, I'm going to be the one that's going to hold y'all motherfuckers to accountable. Like, well, all right. What about right. you, Alex? Hey, Alex, right. Moving on. <laughs> Man, it was been a journey. Yeah. It's definitely been a beautiful journey, especially with this podcast, seeing where we, it was just the three of us. Yeah, you know, right. like it was a point in time. Alex and then looking our at our original producer. Everybody that's he here, recording our own shows, like literally push and record, push and record Alex, when it was stopped. Tea. Tell nah, them how you came on here shit. celibate and now you getting pussy. <laughs> <laughs> what they hear. That's, that's what they want to hear. That's the yearly reflection. So the Look, Oscar, your podcast got you some ass. Wow, credit. Put me in the credits, baby. I can't do, I can't do it on my own. See, they trying to play. <laughs> I was doing that before the podcast, so but we're talking about that. You <laughs> <were> <laughs> <selling> <laughs> <up>. <laughs> Alex came on this bitch a version. Alex, now he knocking a bitch down Why every day. Oh my Damn. God. He's bitch bad. Y'all are wild. Bitch bad. Huh? So Hold up, he shocked a, he me. At the live celibate. show. I was just, celibate. He was just faking because he couldn't get no pussy. Yeah, no. that's all it was. Okay. It was never that. Damn, y'all gonna do Alex like that? Hell no. Nah. Not never. I believe you. Not never. Alex, never. Alex a big stepper. Alex be fly every every fucking Sunday. We're not about to play with Alex. Stop matching his watch. You better fucking tell Alex was saving himself or somebody special yeah he was he wasn't hiding his girl from the world he's hiding the world shout out to his, his cute i see why he, why he was see, hiding his you bitch smart girl. hey your bitch bad nah, she's not she pretty yeah. she's pretty. i was like no, you gotta she, go ahead she's pretty. and she's sweet i like her i like her she's yeah. a scorpio like as well so she's sometimes. crazy as well let's finish your story of how how it unfolded for you bro you know i just want to emphasize that he's dating a scorpio yeah yeah crazy definitely he took something from the show sweetie that wasn't the right thing to take but Wait, <laughs> finish your story. I thought bro. a Gemini hater said something. Hold up. Nah, oh. but really to just see us here, like after like 52 episodes, staying consistent, you know, it's truly like a blessing. blessing. Through the pandemic. So that's my moment. Yeah. Like doing a podcast through the pandemic, and through everything. Here, every week. And we here. Shout out to the niggas behind the scenes. The yeah, absolutely. Niggas show up every week. Shout out to y'all. Cameraman. Man. Yeah, Junction. like the Gio, audio. the fucking Leo Woman. Nigga, uh, fucking Sherm, Lante, Joe, Blonte. Did I say everybody. it right? Everybody. Like yeah. everybody. Monique in the here. fucking building. Yeah, Monique. Shout out to Monique. Monique. Shout out to Monique. Yeah, man. So, okay. yeah, Monique man. Monique uh, in the back throwing up gang signs. Right. We definitely. We Shout out, Lil Mo. It's crazy that it's really the last Sunday of the year. Like 2020 is over after this. Yeah, yeah it seemed like did it, so. Did 2020, wild, did 2020 move fast for y'all? Fast and me. slow at the same time. How it, is that? What do you mean? Like I felt like, as far as everything that happened, it felt like Kobe was in January. You know what I mean? Right. And I felt like that we're coming up on that. Yeah. But that felt like that was two years ago. As yeah. much as stuff that's happened this year, but it went fast because we're already at the end of the year. Yeah. You know. And I remember what happened to Kobe like it was yesterday. So that that was for me. Real shit. It moved fast for you. Yeah, it did actually. Like, but I almost want to like act like this year never existed to a degree, and it's like twenty twenty one. 2020 again. I want to do it over. I, oh, I hate to say it, but I had a great 20. Yeah, that's I, was I, was I was about to ask. I was about to go into that. But next year, though, I'm the same age since we was locked that's down. What, but that's what I mean. Yeah, like, I, want, I feel I like I ain't really. But I, I fucked with it. You turned. Yeah, I want to turn 25. 
Next year? I'm turning 25 again next year. Oh, okay. Period. But I definitely thought that this you year. You say the was... right things. What you say? Shout out to all the people. <laughs> nah, for real, for real. Shout out to all the people who lost somebody this year with no, that COVID shit. Yeah. Shit was real tough. Yeah. But I had a good year. Yeah. Yo, 2020, yeah. I definitely think COVID was actually a blessing for a yeah. lot of us. You know yeah. what I'm saying? There's so many people that got their shit together because of COVID. Yeah. Like, so many things unfolded in a positive yeah. way for, for COVID. What, the PP yeah, gang? gang? <laughs> the I mean, PP gang. The PP boys. PP boys, I heard round two dropping. Round two, and I'm in, I'm on parts this time. I want parts. Yeah, you getting locked up because you shit on camera. They still here. Niggas want me on camera, and then. See? Why you gotta go negative? It's like, it's the end of the year. Let us live. All the said, I'm sneaking. Snitching. <laughs> I'm, now you say you snitch on camera. No Y'all heard that? So I ain't, I ain't hear down, I if I'm in jail, it's because Jay snitched. Listen, I, ain't, I don't want no parts. Yeah, my of real that. niggas know what to do. What's your real niggas know what to do? Nothing. Nigga, you, you know what you, you got. You the only real nigga I know. What? Nigga, nigga. You know I'm a real nigga. I'm a real nigga. If like Jay, guys you terms. ever snitch on my friend, you niggas up. It's up like it's what you gonna stuck. Do? <laughs> what am I going to do? Yeah. It's yeah. not what I'm going to do. She, she, look, she it's, already... Pam, it's, I'm going to press that pam, button on you, Jay. Pam, pam. I'm pressing the button on Jay if he snitch on my friend. You already know. 311. We're going to be smoking on Jay. <laughs> what are you talking about? What the fuck? That's how you... Whoa. They say they smoking J Pack, y'all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can yeah. different. Nah, let me tell y'all. So look, after the live show, right... Nigga, we go out to DC. <laughs> this nigga Jay got his fur on. He hides shit in the corner <laughs> of the little lounge. She got his hood on. His hood is covering his whole entire he's jacket. A, he's fully, he's fully furred out. Was he it, went in, it, was the way, it was the way he pulled the Jay. Like the nigga was holding it for like dear life. So a nigga was like, "What's up with Jay? This nigga must have been smoking on Pookie Low. <laughs> <laughs> nigga was high as shit." Yo, I just don't smoke, so like, I you know, I just started. You know, you know so like, Jay get this. No, ask Jay, Jay, Jay was tripping. Jay was high as shit, tripping in the car, no, Jay is bro. The funniest high nigga's nigga driving, ever, said, "I can't feel or see nothing." I'm like, "Nigga, pull over." <laughs> nah, so fuck, so pull I'm over. Like, did you drop? Like, what did you drive with your fur on? Yes, he did. Oh, he was high as so shit. The, he was high as listen, shit. Listen, the cops is right beside me, and I'm like. I'm driving and I'm like, yo, these niggas right beside me. I don't know if I'm like swerving or not. So I'm like, how the fuck do I be normal? <laughs> like, and I'm trying my hardest to be normal, but I can't. And I'm just so like, So I'm yo. looking at Jay. I'm like, My heart you know is what? beating out my fucking chest. I'm looking, I, I, I'm not looking straight. So I'm thinking I'm swerving because I'm not looking straight. None of the time I'm looking out the but side he's of the middle. Laughing at, to see the police. He's I'm like, laughing as he's saying he's right. He's like, y'all, I can't see shit. <laughs> the whole time, the whole time, like, he's probably having a conversation to fuck? himself. The I'm, whole time. I'm talking to myself like, yo, bro, you But he's talking out loud. I'm like, you gotta stand in lines because if you don't, you gonna, they gonna they on your ass, bro. <laughs> but I'm looking outside, bro. I'm like, yo, shit. But I mean, long story short, we made it home. Yeah, yeah. long story short, it's sweet, it's sweet in DC. Mm. Mm. It ain't. <laughs> it ain't. You think it's here sweet? and there? Only thing about DC, that shit federal. Yeah, heard if you get locked up, like yeah, it's the feds. Like, you go to, you fuck? go anywhere. Right. Yeah, take me back to Baltimore. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But no, man, let's get into the show, man. Uh, yes, sir. We had we wanted to talk about some shit today. We was actually saving this. Um. Shade, you ready to start? Yes, sir. You sure? Start the fucking show, dude. I'm just saying, because like, I just want to make sure I want to ask. Like, are you? Oh, are yeah. you? I, I let's, love, let's, let's I love, I love, let's, let's I love when you're nice. Hey, baby, we talked about this on live show. I'm yeah. trying to talk to you with some delicacy. This is why I be lit. Are you, you see my cup? <laughs> are you in the, Damn, the right state of mind to, to be able to have this conversation yes, right babe. now? Yes, babe. I'm a little tipsy now, so this is the perfect state of mind. I'm good. I don't, I don't think need no more. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, let's move like on. Where we at with it? Wait, um... Do you think that you can share power in a relationship? And our I told y'all I was about to spill something. Oh my god. No, it's not that it's not that I'm tipsy. It's just a little small space. Here, somebody just put this somewhere. <laughs> all right. So can we share power in a relationship? So can you elaborate? Do you think all right? Everything is up there. All right, for example, um <laughs> Well, why would you say like, like, people? I mean, like everything, everything people. is up there. Like so no, I just, they don't they can't about? see. Talk to the people. They can't see it. That's it. Do jump. you think that the, the balance of power in our relationship can truly be I would like it to be. So why can't it be? Because you are a power hog. You see the that's <laughs> a fucking Scorpio, bro. It's like point the fit. Yo, do you understand? You got three fingers pointing back at you. I said it. I didn't point shit. Okay, so you think I'm a power hog? Yeah. Why do you think so? You know, you be a little drunk off power because you want to be the man. You want to run the show. You want to do everything. You feel what I'm saying? So it's your way or the highway. Your word, no word. So sometimes you know it's hard to challenge you because you're. You feel what I'm saying? My way or the highway. Okay, so how does that work? Like, how does that work for like 
for you? How does that make you feel in those times? Like when I feel like it's my way or how it is. Um, I if think you we, give me an example of when it's my way. Well, my like way? I think we ch- we have a challenge with it. Like I feel like there's sometimes I'm okay with like you do it because you know I like you know my man to be the man. Mm-hmm. But then sometimes like you know I'm a strong headed female and I I have answers too. So when I can't give my input because you're like just trust, trust me, me or take my word. But I know for certain that this could potentially work another way. I get, you know, we that's when we get that little tension. Yeah. How do we make that compromise though? Because I, I do believe that sometimes, a lot of times, I want you to trust me in a relationship because yeah. I am the man, yeah. and it's like, yo, I'm not going to stare you down the wrong way. Yeah. Right. So how do we compromise for that? Like, how do we? Well, I think if men understood that your woman can lead too, like it's okay to let them lead certain directions mm-hmm. and certain U turns and angles. We know some things too. So we can be fifty fifty yeah. depending on the people, but you don't think I'm I'm a I'm, nah, I'm I, I was talking with power. you. Nah, nah, you, we, we, we're working on compromising. What do you, y'all think? If, if you were to give it like a percentage right now, what do you think it would be? Sheesh, I think I compromise everything that Shadi wants. Like whatever mm. she says, whatever she says goes. And of course, I'll be mad as shit. Like, yo, listen to me. But I think that's where I'm drunk in power. I guess. How does it work for you? What you think? Bullshit. Because I feel like sometimes is what I want, but a lot of times is. Just trust me. Just trust me. And if you don't just trust them, you don't listen. You don't listen. You're like, every time I say something, it's just an end up being an argument. So it's like, you like, know what? Example, like recently, I've been like, like recently my new thing with Jay is like, just do what the fuck you want to do. Don't even ask me. Just do it. Like he be like, Shadi, I'm like, I, I don't even care. Do, do so whatever me, you want to do. So example where I was like, too, like <clears throat> trying to be over, overly mm-hmm. powerful. I don't know. Like even with like, for you example. You can't come up with an argument and not know. Come on. Damn, you're doing it right now. Sorry, you feel don't what I'm care. saying? Like, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Stop, stop, stop. Like, honestly, like, all right, for example, like, even our last meeting with the, like, the live show, he was like, I know, like, I, I've been doing this for a long time. Like, just <laughs> listen to me, what I said, because I, 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 I know you guys don't listen. You guys don't listen. I'm like, Jay, it's okay for you to know, but just because somebody hasn't been in the same situation as you doesn't mean you can't have takeaways from what they do know on but, things they have done. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I might have haven't always been in like the industry with you, but I do work for the government. So there's certain behind scenes that I just know. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So stuff like that. You got a great point. However, if let's look at it. Like I always got to have a great point. But no, however, no. It's right. always a Here but. Comes you got a great point. Here but, comes but. the rebuttal. It's I mean, always. But I need to disagree with you because it's not even I that. So power. what I would say is in those situations, because I don't power think that, I don't think that I don't just not listen to anybody. Like that's kind of wow. Like to say, you know what I'm saying? However, again, I feel like if I, if, 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 if I have the experience in that field, why not listen to me? Why not let me carry that load? Just like you say, you work in the government, right? right? I could never tell you about anything when it comes to the computer. And I said this multiple times. So I would never try to come in the room and be like, Bay, maybe you should put this file with this folder or this folder. And I would never tell you to do that because however, that's your level of expertise. However, that's only because we haven't shared a space where you had to step in and interfere. Like I ended up stepping into your realm. So mm. at that point, because I've stepped in it, you also have to trust that, like, let me... You know, if I feel like I know something, hear me out. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just like if you were to work with me, like, God, no. However, you see you, the difference? Like, if you were to work with me, God, no. But I brought you into my space. No, but I'm saying, but you, like, I wouldn't work with you corporately. Hell no. But yeah. what's the difference? It's work is work, no? So you, so basically, you're looking down upon but, my work because it's not corporate. Uh, who the fuck said I look down on anything? You just made that up. I did it. You said I said, corporate. anybody heard me say what's I look down? What's the difference? You said not corporate. Alice, <laughs> Alice. <laughs> Why is my name? Jasmine, yeah, right like, here. Nah, no, you, no, you said just, not corporate you like as to, if it's uh, a different no. levels of work. Don't put me in it. Don't throw me in it. That's not important. Well, like, I feel like in, 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 in this well. industry where we are, we're running our show. You get what I'm saying? In that industry, obviously, I work for the white man. So, like, I'm just saying, like, nobody wants to work with their significant other corporately. You know what I'm saying? Here, like. Nobody wants to work with their significant other at all. Mm. Right. That's fair. I just don't think we should be able to compare. No, we shouldn't. No. Just That's because... fair. That's fair. I'll give you that. So, and what, what I'm <laughs> no, saying No, you is... can speak for yourself. You want to? All I'm saying is. I mean. All I'm saying is, when it comes to that, right? If I came to your, if I came to your house. I'm mm-hmm. gonna play by your rules. Okay. And I think respectfully, and but when you say things like, "I'm not," I think I'm very open to listen to everybody you, a part of the team. You you might listen, but you don't like listen. Like you'll he'll hear it, he'll but hear you'll, you'll act hear it. I don't, you go. I don't act, listen. Yeah, actively. exactly. And that's sometimes I'm not gonna say that's all the time, but that sometimes. So you make just that go, known in the beginning. Uh, but you know, we're working on it. Alex, who's wearing the pants in your relationship? Alex, <laughs> what the fuck? That's not, not real even, shit. No, Alex, seriously. No, I mean, but, Why? It was, but that answers but, that. What, 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 you got a hundred percent of the power. Nah, hundred. It's like 60, 40 I I'll oh, say like 60, 60, 40. 40. Because Wait, what I'm did a they fair say? Person. The eighty twenty rule isn't that like? I, I feel thing? like I'm fair though. Like 
because a lot of what I want is within your best interest, I feel like, because I'm thinking about it from a perspective of a team. I don't know if she's thinking about it the same way because, but I do, comp so I feel like it's 60-40 with the intent of everything that I'm doing is for us. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like, I look at it as a team going into it, and I feel like that's why you're able to compromise because the mission, we're all talking about the mission. I feel mm -hmm. like we have a like-minded mission. Okay. So, and what I found is that it's easier for her to submit to that because she knows what she's submitting to. Mm -hmm. And there you go. it's not more so a thing shit, that I Alex. said, but like what I've done. Huh? I'm talking to ladies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, but, can we give Alex flowers and peace? Not yet, not yet, not yet. Not, not yet. yet? All yeah. right. But yeah. Man, but yeah. you're about to tell me when I give my man his flowers. So, Alex, here go your flowers. That, <laughs> that's, uh, been, that's been what it's really been is essentially... And that what compromise. I what I think from that, right? I just feel like it's certain situations. So like y'all so quick to give a man his flowers, the nigga don't even live with his girlfriend. I think things change. Okay, with wait, okay. Come out. But they're in a new, they're no. in a new relationship. And that's all more of the be patient because I feel like this is the world here. You see, a man will say, he's "Well, he's about to go left, y'all." Five, his relationship, four, right? And so three, many two, girls one. live in this fairy tale world of like, "That's what I want." When you don't even know the situation, that this is things valid. change with the situation. He one, they just got together. Mm -hmm. Two, they don't live together. So of course, their like their ideology or or that compromise is going to be totally different from somebody that's, that's been true. together for three that's years. True. That's and true. That's living with each other for three years. So it's like. Not saying don't give him his roses, but I just feel like that's the world. The they will see changed. something. Yeah. And they, okay. Oh my fair. God, that looks good. That's, I want that. You know that's what? Fair. Those are facts. That's fair. Those that are facts. Definitely. I get that. But that's why when I say that you shouldn't have moves. relationships. Bro. So no, I wasn't trying to bash. I was just. Nah, I just I'm gonna tell you why Jay won't. Jay won't let Alex bask in his because Jay been trying to tell me what to do since the beginning. Nah, it's not that. This man even told you how to give somebody else their flowers. That's how much he's on a power. Now they're so they're roses. I didn't want to give him roses. Can we give him orchids? Can lips. we give him orchids? What can I was we give giving him? him tulips. I'm not. I wasn't. Damn. Power trip. <laughs> However, what I was saying in our situation, you said that I do it sometimes, right? I feel like you ain't lead the conversation with that. You said I feel like JB just wanted. I did, and you're right. However, because you know, as a human, like if I feel like you do that more than you do the other side, I'm probably going to acknowledge that side. Fair. No, I can respect that too. All um, right. but again, like I was saying, this like, guy is coming, a power freak. I'm not. <laughs> You're talking yeah, about we Alex. Finished, we he still wants his flowers. No, we, you we just give him his goddamn flowers. Here, baby, some tulip. Thank, Thank you. you yes, Jay got his flowers. I don't have no flowers. I wanted to just finish the conversation. We no, Jay, the conversation wants the no? Jay wants the power. Jay wants the Jay's power drunk. I'm not. I'm not even drunk drunk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> not That's looking me right though. Let yeah. Me get my back. All right. All right. Well, like I was saying, back to us. We never finished our conversation. No. What we sitting on? Uh huh. Mm. We never really came to no type of conclusion. You didn't even tell them. What, the... what we sipping on? Oh, yeah, we oh. sipping on. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell y'all what we sipping on. They got Jay over here acting like he got a reign in power every Sunday. It's that Mahis, it's man. The Mahis, Mahis Brandy. Brandy. That yeah. Mahis Brandy. Got a, it got a that lion. It's a lion. It's, Jay it's, on his shit. And it got a lion on the front, so you know. <laughs> what does that mean? You know, the king of the jungle. Like, you oh, know what okay. I'm saying? Oh. All right, it's the Mahis, y'all. It's the Mahis. Shout out to Mahis Brandy. DMV Vase Black. Um, make sure y'all check them out. Uh, Mahis Brandy um, on social media. But do you, so honestly, though, do you feel like it could be you can have a successful relationship with it being 50 50? I, like I, completely down. I think it way. has to be 50 50. Because Is anything okay. in life 50 50. And that's what I was about to allude to. That's like, why that's the problem. People always want to put these expectations on a relationship that they don't even put on other aspects of life. Like, right. why is the relationship like the on a pedestal? Like everything you do in life, nothing's 50-50. Right. We don't even have 50-50 equality as a race in this country. So what makes you think that your relationship is going to be half and half? At the end of the day, somebody is always doing more than others. Even when you claim your shit on the IRS, it's 51%. That's who gets everything because one of these motherfuckers was doing a little bit more than the other. I'm gonna mm -hmm. tell you why I think it should be 50 50 because numbers aren't always looked at as what it is. If that makes sense. I'm gonna tell you why. So sometimes I might have to do more than you, mm -hmm. but guess what? It's gonna be times where you might have to do more than me. So that, a balance. So, right. So, but that makes it 50 50. It's not about what, what you're doing in that it's moment, who picks up it's the about flag. the relationship yeah. in the whole. So, it might be three to six sometimes months. Sometimes it's you, sometimes it's exactly. me. Exactly. So, it might be six to six to 12 months, three to six months where I got to be the strong person in, in, in a relationship because your parents right. might've passed away, right? right. It might've been, it might be six to 12 or whatever, how long, where I might have to hold the bills down because you mm -hmm. lost your job or whatever the case so, may be. So, but the fact that you're going to do the same for me makes right. it 50, 50. Okay, right. so at what point does one stop trying because it's just too imbalanced? It's too mm. much 75, well, I don't right, know, man. 25. Yeah, 75, <laughs> 25. At what point 
do you say, all right, this does not have a balance. Let me go ahead and just give, let me just bow out gracefully. Um, I, so I guess my question to that would be like, what makes it 75 over here and 25? Like, okay. You ever felt slighted? Right. So in relationships at times we feel slighted. Right. So how many times do you have to feel slighted consecutively to mm. be like, you know what? This is not working for me. Right. I think everybody's limits is a little different. Right. You know what I'm saying? I think it's definitely subjective to the person. However, like for me, like, you know what I'm saying? I, or not even for me. I feel like everybody kind of knows, you know, uh, enough is enough or they know like their breaking point. Um, so I, I can't really put a number on it. But what I will say is, you know, when it's just, okay, this is a fucking. Yeah. Like, so this is I too think much. it's really, <clears throat> it is subjective to the person, right? However, I think we got to do a better job as a black community is like healing because a lot of times when I, I, I wrote this on Twitter and a little prayer or whatever that y'all swear is fucking it's passive, passive aggressiveness. It's not. We wasn't u- upset or nothing. But anyway, so I was writing a little I was writing you know, a little prayer wrote, right, and I was saying Bible um, verses when he's upset at me. I was basically saying, you know, subtle was, reminders are key. No, nah, no. Nah, I was I was basically saying, you know, when I when I first got my in my relationship, uh-huh. the thing that I hated the worst was we was never friends. Right, that we didn't come into a relationship being friends. Okay, I see what you're saying. But the best part of my relationship now is the fact that we was able to grow together for three years and watch each other grow. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because that's one mm-hmm. of the hardest parts about being yourself is growing through yourself. That's your yeah. hurt. So, and, and a part of the prayer, I was saying, you know, I pray that we continue to have this relationship and to continue to have this strength even when it looked like something else. Because yeah. a lot of times what happens is we get our feelings hurt and we want to run. Mm-hmm. So that's why I, I, I bring it to healing because if we learn to heal when things happen in a relationship that hurts your feelings that make you want to leave, you'll stay yeah. not for somebody else, but, but for yourself. So, yeah. But again, it's going to be, it's subjective. Like yeah. Yeah. whoever, I don't know, like somebody might get tired faster than somebody else. Man, yeah. I get tired real fast. I Quick. call you one more time than you called me. We're done. <laughs> 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 I'm putting this too much work. I'm exhausted. Shit. That's not toxic. That's this called girl Jasmine, standards. This girl Jasmine really told me when he was like, man, I got to call this nigga back. I ain't calling this nigga back. It's too much work. I said, oh, wow. That's pride, though. This, look, I ain't, it's pride. not pride. pride. It's you don't just, think that's pride? No, I'm tired. I'm tired. <laughs> what? It's, I'm exhausted from my daily life. I'm about to, I ain't about to go all out for no nigga, man. Come on. It's yeah, got to be 50 But you want a nigga to go out? Wait, wait, wait. Pride. Talk, that's what I'm saying. On, this is on, pride. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, it gotta take be, it easy on my man. I said, I said 40 you minutes. What's the time? I just want to make sure. Yo, she literally just said there's no such thing. Oh my God. What the fuck is going Hey, Lex, can I get another drink? Listen, <laughs> I'm not, I can't even get past the talking stage because if I got to text you <laughs> and, and wait more than if I have to communicate. 45 minutes for a response. No response needed. But you want somebody that's busy and, and, and vicious, right? right? So like, she what if they in the middle of, of course, like? But oh, I please. have to be a priority. 50, I'm on set. But the nigga that's going to buy that McDonald's, he gonna be he got shit <laughs> going on for himself, so he can't be all up under you all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like that's <laughs> the real thing about it. You want to buy saying, the McDonald's? He gotta. He could have at least bought the drink. I'd have bought the goddamn nuggets. <laughs> That's 50-50, not me give you all the hey, money. Hey, you I'll get the four piece, you get the, the yeah, small drink. Yeah, can we get some extra sauces? They might you gonna buy the toy too. All right, I guess. Yeah, I mean, not for on some real shit though. Nah, that shit don't ever be 50-50 in the talking stage. If you even make it to the relationship point, somebody was putting in more work. And I feel like at okay. most times- Like it's men the, are hunters. The man, so though. at first, it's man. when you're pursuing the somebody, stage, I think it's man. it gotta be the man. man. But see, yeah. but see, hold up. Nah, because yeah. last yeah, time, like, here, y'all goes, y'all he's, y'all here goes, he's about to start. He's, he's, I he turned, he, when he turned his nah, corner. Nah, because you're a hypocrite. Because, what? Yeah, Jay's a hypocrite. I'm gonna tell y'all why. Big hypocrite. Because last time you said, yeah, fuck is you talking about? You supposed to pay, woo woo. Okay, so if you're pursuing me, right? And you're a man. And we talking about man time. Uh-huh, man time. Then you say what? You're putting in more. To, you're putting in most of the work, right? Yeah. All right. So you don't consider that to be something slight. That's it's, part of pursuing. First of all, that don't got shit to do with me being a hypocrite. I never. I never said I wouldn't buy, bought the McDonald's. However, what I did say was the that, nigga that's going that to pay for the McDonald's is going to be somebody that's putting in work. So he's not going to be able to cater to you hand in no, hand all the time. You said that's hold what up. I literally just said. Rewind, rewind the, tape. What the fuck? Track. I said that. Like Wait the nigga that's putting the nigga that's going to put the McDonald's on your nah, plate. Nah, nah, nah. And you, boxing ring you, one. We got jazz. <laughs> that's what I said. That's not what I said. No, I tell you I'm what, happy. like Jay. I tell you what. I tell you what. I tell you what. I tell you what. Nah, but all jokes aside, I feel like you did kind of allude to the fact that, and this is what got all these people talking about simping and woo woo, like. 
you said that yeah of oh, course of me. you should have to pay for this <laughs> get, get on him Jay because Jay, 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 Jay chose the clip Jay chose the clip oh, Jay, no. Jay no fuck the clip Jay chose the cap because Jay Jay made it seem like he wasn't he wouldn't pay for it if he was on a date with her and, and, and then, her daughter then he posted a picture on. after and then it's this what this what what McDonald's gets you yeah <laughs> I bet got you some ass right now Come everybody on. talking about I'm I, selling so, Mick pussy because you want to get on there and pussy. you want to play around and you want to act like this is the Mick pussy for me. Anyway, what I it's would say is, pussy I didn't know four dollars for me. What, what you know what it is for me? Because everybody for me. It's the, it's the hey, this big pussy got a special no. sauce, all right? So I don't give a fuck that what nobody say this. Hey, let me get a number two. Let me tell you. Sauce. No, so hold up. Let me just say this. Before you even get to the point of, I'm not even going to say talking with somebody, fucking somebody. Mm -hmm. Somebody is pursuing. Yeah, yeah, somebody had to put more work yeah. in. The man. So, right. So of once course. you get into a relationship, it's supposed to change. It's not that. And I'm gonna go back to that cap ass comment you said. No, it's the expectation for me. It ain't about me paying for a fucking McDonald's meal. Fuck McDonald's. It's the yeah, fact that you so expected me to get it and the fact that Absolutely, you- Absolutely, because so, you are here, right? You're in my presence. No, so I expect it's you not that. to act as such. She it's said not my that, it's, it's, it's the, the fact that you said, yo, ass. run me, I can't believe you're talking about this again. We, run me past <laughs> McDonald's real quick. So when you say that, I'm thinking, I bet she got to get something for our daughter. She going to handle her business. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, while you're again, in the driver's seat, however, hey, however, however, I would have got it. I would have got it. Okay. I'm so, not, like, and that's I'm not, not, and that's not, and that's not sim shit. And, 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 and in her defense, shit. she that's never not, said she expected. However, it just would look it on sounded some like you was expecting. I mean, I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to keep it real. Hold up. I'm going to keep it real. I ain't never, I ain't never. What? You, like you was expecting. Nah, like you hold up. Something. Look, no, I'm never expecting anything from. First of all, first of all, what is going on? First of all, first nah, of all relax. My everybody, calm show. the fuck down. Hold up, because I don't yeah. expect shit from anybody. So if right. I'm not expecting anything from my motherfucking family right. or my motherfucking the motherfuckers who birthed me, Why what do I, I look like expecting something from a nigga? It's not about the expectation of it. I wouldn't even think to expect something like that because that's something that should be done. That shit should be law. Okay. So yeah, when you're pursuing, time. when you're pursuing time. somebody, it should be imbalanced because somebody is hunting. If nobody, if if one, if both, so you mean to tell me both people just meet and then oh, it's a fantasy, it's a movie. We're both in love at first sight, 50, 50, 50. No, it's not 50, 50 in the talking stage. So let me ask so you. when you get committed. It's never going to be 50-50, not at the same time. It's always going to be one person doing more. Like you said, it's a yo-yo. But, but basically, you're saying, like, keep the same energy keep that you had in the energy beginning. Keep the same energy in the so, beginning. Question. Yeah, because a lot of women complain. They say, oh, once he got me, he stopped doing what it yeah. took to get me. Now I don't want to be here. Right. So when do we get a break? So, and I, I, ask, I ask that because, uh, relax. Like, I mean, every fucking day. <laughs> because you get rewarded. See. For what? Everything. Like? Like, okay, so for example. Pussy ain't a reward. I'm See, niggas say that pussy, too. Nah, hold pussy. up, niggas say that too. But, hold up, and then I hate when people say, oh, I wasn't talking to you to try to fuck you. Or people say, oh, um, all he's trying to do is fuck you. Isn't every nigga trying to fuck? I mean, I'm trying to fuck at some point if I like you. Isn't that the point? We're grown. No, I don't think that's the point. So the but, point is, so we never want to have so sex now with you. Yeah, but now the point is, that, that, that's no, not that's that's Alex, Alex can tell you better build. than I can because wow. you were celibate until you what? Wanted that pussy. Right. So <laughs> at that point, we all know, nah, for real, we all know the facts. Everybody's trying to fuck. I'm sick of all these things. <laughs> 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 I was saying the hookah. I just get nah, caught with the straight bullets. <laughs> like, I just, just straight she bullets. She's fucking. I'm sick of all the bullshit. Tell him, At Jay. some point, of course, Period. we're fucking. I'm not even going to be getting married to someone that I'm not fucking. Right. Like, that's stupid to me. I don't yeah. care what anybody says. Oh, wait till marriage. Bullshit. That's cap. No, you got to test drive. No, we already said that. You got to test drive. A woman, a woman knows... Is she gonna fuck or not? In the, the first five, in the first five minutes. Off the rip. Okay, and of course, off it's the and only, the only, uh, only the man can That's change why that. You knew that he was right. gonna get that pussy. Period. Okay, right. Cool. What I'm saying is that's not the point. The point isn't to fuck. The point is to build something. True, but a part of that is fucking. Don't lie. Get on right. here and say yeah, that you. Yes, a part okay, of that. Okay, thank you. I don't know why men are. Women do. To, 
that's what under the whole umbrella exactly. of the woman so though. why do people always single out the fucking part? because that's right. not the point the point is to build yes yeah. fucking comes with building right. but that's not the point but if the point yeah. is the fuck, that it would be fuck not build like it's you can't like you like this it, it doesn't make sense what you're saying because it's like yo the point is if, if i'm saying the point is to build yes that comes with fucking if the point is the fuck building don't come with that at all it. like if that's not what and it is that's where the line gets blurred because that's the problem right there with men Y'all blur the line so much. Fair. Y'all make it seem like y'all want to build. And that's what I was trying. Right, but that's what I was trying to right. go right. And I think what happens is, and I've talked about this before. A lot of men, we don't put our foot down. And I'm not speaking for all men, of course, but a lot of men, we don't put our foot down because we're too busy trying to impress the woman that we want. So honestly, I think we had this conversation on a um on on a podcast. Honestly, you're getting a guy by the time you're in a relationship. You're getting a guy that's not him because he's doing everything in his power to impress you. And it's like I think ladies. She easing up on niggas for some for a little bit because what happens? Ease it up. No, no, think we about don't it. even know if you're come trying out. to build her. No, no, come out, come out, though, come out. Or is that men just don't know which one they like, want yet? Like the comments you said, right? Mm -hmm. Because he ain't buy you no McDonald's, right? And I know it's a small, small extreme, but like because he ain't make buy you no McDonald's. Now you knew that he would never get your pussy. Yeah. So it's some guys out there because of because of ladies like city girls, ladies like I don't know, um, fucking Megan <laughs> Thee Stallion, and they make it known that a nigga have to have a bag. So you got a nigga. That don't that comes from nothing. He's gonna do whatever to get a bag to impress you because he know if he ain't have the bag, he would never have a check okay, with you. Okay, okay, but wait, up. but see, no, so, that's <laughs> see, that's the problem. Men always take everything a woman does literally, even with the wop shit. Like, okay, so when y'all, so when we get on there and say, oh, a nigga gotta have a bag, y'all, men have a bad insecurity issue when it comes to their ego. Like they just get bruised. It gets bruised so easily. It's so fair, fragile. Fair. So when city girls say, oh money 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 right when niggas get on there and start talking about fat ass this fat ass that big fake titties this big fat, we don't take it that's literally and say oh that's i can't fair. talk to him because i don't have that a big, big fake ass. fat ass right but, but then y'all get on here and say but y'all will get on here and say but it's women who make bodies for a reason you see you see spend the money for a reason right it's just different like it's all not going to so person like everybody's a little different so yeah city girls is for the city girls hot girls is for the hot girls but then you got the what about you know lauren hill exactly <laughs> what <laughs> shit yo what's up what about this? lauren hill man yo lauren hill was I, a dope ass person right she didn't say she said don't be a hard rock Erica when you really are a gym okay you got that shit on what about you those women but what I was we saying. all get categorized into one no of course and so those okay so let me ask y'all this are y'all building with girls who are talking that city girl shit Yes, Noah, because even in this conversation, right, you said, well, not this one, but the conversation we had on the show, you said you wasn't going to give me a chance if I ain't buy everybody to drink. I didn't say that. No, what I said, said was, that. I didn't say that. I said. You weren't getting any pussy. You wasn't getting any pussy. <laughs> <laughs> and that's part of Wait, building. So, so hold on, tell me. First of all, nobody said that if you didn't buy the gang, but I, if, all right, you want to go out with me and my yeah. girls. You're taking us out, right? Well, hey, hey, choose the words carefully. They're going to crucify you. Fact, fuck these motherfuckers. <laughs> so. The thing is, right? You came out with me and my girls. No. It was a, yes, you did. Yes, you you did, met Jay. me and Jazz together. I met y'all yeah. at the spot. We didn't go together. At the spot. Right. Yes, I met y'all at the we, spot. Uh, but we, we met. were going and the rest of our gang and, and I said, you I'll, was like, I'll come. I said, where y'all going? All right. You said, all right. Next story. I'm excited. I'm going to pull up. No, you walked in with us, Jay. What Jay, you definitely walked in with us. You walked in with us. Or did I not meet y'all? No. Well, of course, it was It was the first impression. It was like four of us in the car. It was the first impression. What I said is, if you would have just bought my drink, then you would have bought the gang drinks. Yeah, I probably in a hookah. In a hookah. Come on. Like, heavy on the hookah. In a hookah. You want to keep putting that in. So what I would say is, what I would say is, again, that's the type of guy I am, right? However, it, I'm doing that because I know that's what I gotta do to impress a woman. Right. And that's what y'all put it, that's what y'all put out there. And, and, and that's or, respect. So was or, that, but, but so see, was that the real you or was that the part where she needs to lower her expectations now so because y'all you're a different bitch? Be yeah. It probably it, well, wasn't the real me because I probably <laughs> was struggling. I probably just did it because I know that's what I had to do as a nigga. A lot of times when you talk about the ego and the pride, I think that that, that plays a role in this, right? So if, if I don't have it and I'm out, I know how I should handle being with a woman. So even if I don't have it, I'm gonna do it because I'm gonna find but, a way. But why is that always on the woman's side? That's really all women. But that's all, really all women. Thinking, but that's, all what women that's all women really want, though, is just to for you to put effort in. Like you said, how you see, you see how you said you were gonna make a way. That's what we're Period. looking for. We're looking for that in leadership. Fair. That's when it can start going. Okay, fifty fifty. Yeah. I'm a I'm a let you lead. You're I I know what where I want to be led. 
but I'm gonna go ahead and let you take the wheel because I know that you're gonna, gonna get us there at, at, by, by at any means cost. necessary. Mm. That's what we're looking for. Right. When you so say you submit, you those drinks, we will sweetie. submit once we know. Say, you was down for the game. Down I don't for the even game. know what she's talking I thought, about. I'm just like, nah, like, she like, 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 not cap. Cap. See how he gets on here and he changes the narrative. I love cap. you. I love, I love you. I would have known that. Cap. See no, how he I changes not. the narrative. That's Thank cap. God I didn't know. Thank God for money. You you got a couple ignorance. bills paid for it, so you dealt with the gang. What are you talking First about? First of all, Jay, you big still, money. Jay, you still be tricking on the gang. Go. Right? What are you Damn, about? big trick. Oh, big, no. big, big trick. This nigga, paid, <laughs> this nigga paid when my day didn't pay. Jay you feel me? Like he paid for. All right, he, all right. he paid for all my right. day. This nigga Jay be paying for my niggas, man. Yo, you got a trick, trick. You a real one for that, though. Jay be paying for just, my niggas. You a real one for that. Oh man, that's you, you, you took one from mankind on that one. I'm just say that. <laughs> that was for all mankind. I want to ask y'all something. Yes, ladies, do y'all think that it could ever work if the woman had more than fifty percent of the relationship, like? It can work, but I'm. A, it's a dictatorship over here, baby. See, that's the problem, though. If you're going in so with that mindset, power trips and we can't take power trips. Right. We so don't see it as that. Though. I don't feel like that. I don't feel like I did. But she up, said it like that men, was like her intention. Up, listen, is, I'm going men, to rule this with a dictatorship. You damn straight. Because look, when men are the bread, when 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 men are the breadwinners, it's like regular societal standards that they get to call the shots. Meaning. They get to come home to a hot meal. They get to come home to a warm bath. They get to even get sometimes. Excuse you? Not from you. Not from you, babe. So who are you talking about? Even sometimes <laughs> they still get to uh, fuck other women within this relationship. They For get, real? I mean, men of power. Let's keep it real. Yeah. What man of power men do you want? power the most. Yeah, he the most. On his, thank you. So how come so y'all are quitting hold on no listen not, they where, do I'm, though they I'm, do I'm, I'm e no i'm can saying the perks okay? the perks of having the power as a man are normalized nobody is looking at anybody crazy when a man is the breadwinner and he's calling the shots but when the roles get reversed and the woman has the power and she's calling the shots it's oh she's a bitch or oh you're not making me feel like a man i can't do this so how come what I mean, what's the double standard? Why? This is why. What? I'm what? gonna tell you why. What? 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 Should, should we? Can I? Can, can ahead, I be bro. real for a second? I'm gonna tell you why. A lot of times, because ladies don't listen. I'm. I'm. I'm let me be real. Okay. So a lot of times, it's not even about like me being a man or feeling like I'm the man in my relationship. Don't have nothing to do with me being a breadwinner because I can be the breadwinner and you still don't make me feel like a man. It's. It's just. But when we exp when we express our feelings to our woman, uh, women. A lot of times, Thank you. <laughs> finally, a lot of a pop lot, some champagne. A lot of times, he said it right. Y'all not hearing what it what we're saying, and y'all sweeping our feelings under the rug. So it don't have nothing to do with being a breadwinner or not. I don't think it's just because you can be the breadwinner. I can be the breadwinner. I feel like I still feel like I'm that not being like So man. so we're saying right now that breadwinners normally don't have the control in the relationship. No, she's saying that if no, the I'm woman at, is the breadwoman winner. But in general, so the person with the bread, I do they have more sense, believe that the breadwinner gets, gets more, more power the in the relationship. I don't feel like is that's that always is, the truth though. So because you have a situation where, where a woman could be in power, but a man is like like you feel like he's ain't shit because he's still ruling with an iron fist, but he ain't doing shit. Like you have those scenarios where when a woman is when it's give not. an example. Exactly. That I can give an example. Right. Don't, don't, I mean, it's right. endless. Right. I'm just trying to think example. about the right one. I'm it's playing. a lot. I'm playing though. Okay. So give it. Example of when a woman is a a, a woman a woman is a great winner and right. and the man Boom. still runs the show. Dwayne, uh, we talked about it. Tisha Campbell and Dwayne Martin. What he was obviously running the show well, left her with okay, seven dollars, but that resulted and she was the breadwinner. But that resulted that in a divorce. Is not technically running the show. He but I mean, if you're making the money and I'm and I'm making enough decisions that I'm running, controlling your money, then so who has the power? But 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 that results in that resulted in divorce. So I'm talking about give me a, su a successful, successful example. Oh no, I haven't seen where the woman. I thought you were just talking about in general. Yeah, but then give me a successful uh, example of when a man. Is the breadwinner and the woman is, yeah, because it say, doesn't exist. You don't. No have woman to... calls the shot. No woman is calling the shots when her nigga is the breadwinner. Now a man may let a woman think she's calling the shots just to keep the the peace, but 
in all reality, a woman can't really say, no, this is what we're doing. If her man does not want to do that, and he's the breadwinner. And we don't know that, that because but no, that goes into the same vice, oh, the same vice versa. Because what happens is, like you said, a man might let his woman think that she's running the shots, but it's not letting her think. We have sayings that's real for a reason. Happy wife, happy life. That's comes from somewhere. So even if she's but not the breadwinner. But that saying is condescending but, because even that phrase is basically saying like, look, keep the bitch happy and, and you'll be happy too. Because so, if so, not, so, she's going to so get on even, your nerves. So even, even, even with you breaking it down like that, right? I have to keep her happy. So even the things that I might not want to do, I got to let her run a exactly, shot because if she's not happy, I'm not happy. because you're keeping it at peace. You're letting her think. But if you really wanted to say no and you're the breadwinner, is it really going to be what? a no? So let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. If I really wanted to say no, either way, if she really wanted to say no, it wouldn't be peace either way. However, if the, if the woman in a relationship was the breadwinner, right? Mm -hmm. Do you think she would be okay with submitting to, or not submitting to a man, but catering to his feelings saying, you know, if he's at peace, then I'm going to do what it takes to make him at peace. No, no, I don't. Exactly. That's my point. Okay. And that's what exactly. I'm saying. And I feel like when it, and, and, and it's, most, it's a double standard on that too, but I still think the other thing has a double standard as it well. It does. And what I would say is even when I said this in a live show, I feel like a lot of women, even men, we forget that it, our jobs is far past paying the bills. It's about protection. Just like as, as a, as a woman, if somebody just told me about this as a woman, you know, your job is to nurture, right? And I feel like when the money get involved, now you look at me as less than because I don't have what you deem is successful or enough, right? But you don't look at the other things that I do for you as a man, as protecting you, as being a protector because I am that. But so, not all so, men are protectors. Yeah, and, and I don't know because I feel like I know you brought in protection, but I know a lot of women would say providing and protection. Of course. So if they're looking at the providing aspect, then you lost the ball. But when you got we, one you're, ball. you're saying it, it only it only matters <laughs> when it's materialistic. Do you feel like it's synonymous? This one and the same. What? Like providing is a form of protection. Do y'all feel like it's Absolutely. one and the yeah. same? You're providing me security. And is. I think that's what's it interesting is. is because a lot of women, like you just not said, it, see, it's not it's not the whole thing, but it's but a it's a part of it because of, financial of protection security is, is protection. Yeah, you got to feel like even like down but, to like people having but, wills and life insurance. And but it's interesting that you said it. It's a form of protection because it's not. Some people may not perceive it as that. Right, and and even but that's but that but it's called financial security. So financial security, right? I get it. Stability. I think stability. I feel like we're living in a fucking fairy tale, honestly, because a lot of and I'm sorry to say this, but a lot of of our i'm gonna say woman and men right a lot of us think that we supposed to be where the one percenters are like every like you you know how small of a margin of men that make six figures in a, in a country like you know what I'm saying? right so and you know how hard it is to take care of a, a household of a woman and a child by yourself so it's like we have these false ide ideologies well the maybe we on because TV there's so many our, single women who do it effortlessly so how hard really is it again you taking care of yourself and your child is one thing and that's and, and that might be hard but taking care of a woman and her child and yourself is three times harder clearly so what i'm saying i'm not saying that is 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 a problem however what i'm saying is i feel like we need to have more grace like you say mm -hmm. i feel like mm -hmm. so many people come into relationships thinking it's supposed to be the end and we're just starting like like yeah. i'm not I'm, yeah. Like it's one percent, maybe yeah. more, a little bit more That's of right. people in the world that make six figures, let alone a million dollars, right? Yeah. So you're looking at a regular guy, your standard guy, somebody that's working hard to take care of you and your family plus himself. And no. I want to add, like, I want to add to that. I'm looking at your ass with bifocals. To that percentage, to, it. Yeah. to that you percentage, that's what I want to see make us work no, but, hard and do shit. Yeah. So I want to see how many of the people were in that relationship at the beginning. Like, did you meet them at mm, that level of success right, or right, did you build there? Because, right, you know, a right, lot of the right. success stories, they built together. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You have yeah. a lot of those stories where they tell the tr they're transparent. Yeah. They said, I wouldn't have been here without the woman being my yeah. backbone okay, and so stuff what in about that capacity. The, what about the scenario of Kevin Hart and his wife? She built with him and then he rolled out. But that's, we don't know what type of other things in within. Because, again, that could have been a situation where he talks about, like, he didn't feel like a that man. Goes, you know what I'm saying? With being a breadwinner. He didn't but feel not like feeling, a man, but she helped to put him on. I mean, it's all about perception. Show, so I feel like the perception, I mean, we're from the outside. So we don't know. I mean, I'm what going based saying. on what they said. That goes. That yeah, goes. And, and, but also, there's other things that can cause you to leave a relationship, even if it's not the bread. It don't have to be the love. It could just be intimacy. It could be lack of communication. It could be just, just so many things. Just. 
you're missing so from the is it a Damn, so is it a fairy tale to think that you're gonna get all of that <laughs> what? I, hookah? I tell him every time is it, get his own hookah we so is it a fa- I'm sick of this shit is it a I fairy tale hookah. next set I want my own hookah is it a fairy t- god damn is <laughs> it a fairy tale can we have our to- own hookah around this motherfucker this bitch <laughs> alright I'm bringing individual hookahs next Thank time you. is it a I- is it a fairy tale Starting at to have all of the things that you just named the intimacy the whatever attraction all of that and have somebody who's Ooh. building with you. I mean, because is that a fairy tale too for men? I, I mean, I could I could say that I don't think you're always going to get everything, but if you check off majority of your boxes, I think it can work. You got to check off majority. Okay. That's and what fair. I would say yeah. is this actually goes into the next so- topic, right? When you talk about Kevin Hart and things in building, <clears throat> do y'all think relationships are distractions to people's careers? Absolutely. No. Yeah, they can be. And it's I say that, about. I ask that because I feel like a lot of times we get in a relationship and like I said, we're always looking to the end, right? But we don't understand what it takes to get there, mm-hmm. right? Like whatever our end goal, whatever we deem is successful, success to us, we always go- come into something thinking it's that. Uh huh. I think it can be a distraction. However, it's the same thing that goes with women. Like if you want somebody that's going to be able to take care of you and your family, don't settle for something that's, don't settle for less. Because once you settle for less, you're going to come into a relationship expecting yeah. something from me that I can't give. Right. It might be 1%, one or whatever the percentage is of six-figure niggas in the building, or I mean, um, in the world. But guess yeah. what? If you put yourself in the right rooms, you probably can get with one. Right. Don't put yourself in my room and don't be with me because if that's what you want, don't resent right. me because for something that I can't right, give. Right, right, you right, get what I'm saying? Right. But when it comes to being distraction, I just feel like we do a, a bad job of really putting our foot down and knowing what we want as people. Especially in the beginning, because I Especially. feel like a lot of people see. Don't I don't know. do. I don't think I do a bad job at right. it at all. But so, well, I think like me either. However, uh, what I was of course not. <laughs> you know the Scorpio, I, but that's good well, though. Well, and I'm gonna tell you why. Because I feel like Wait, you, you say it's a Scorpio thing, but whatever. But I just feel like when you know what you already want. Like, you just know. Like, I feel like sometimes this happens with a lot of men that I feel like is that they don't know where they really want to go in the beginning and it goes somewhere else. And then they feel like they either sacrifice too much or they did this. But if you knew that you didn't want that from the beginning, at the beginning, you'd be like, look, like, you know, I know what you want. I don't really want that. Like, we could kick it. We could be cool. So, like, you, you know, know what the issue is? It. I think a lot of people are settling. And yeah. so I think it's that yeah. they do know. Yeah. And instead of. My daughter Buster live at the park. I'm about to lose it on everybody. But if you got supper, you got supper. Uh, okay, so sorry guys. It's okay. Um, where was I at? Because I'm about to go off. Where was I? I was. At? What I was gonna say. We was talking about. Um. Oh no, settling. 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 So settling. here's the settling. thing. A lot of people. I don't think it's that they don't know what they want. I think it's that they know what they want, but people have such an issue with being alone Mm -hmm. so what happens is people end up settling for what they didn't want and then when they can't take Take it anymore now now it's it's a problem now now they're resentful and they're mad now they're they're upset and even so back to the distraction aspect of it um i think that yes people get distracted because they're so busy trying to make it work with something that is not for them and that's when now you can't focus on your goals or anything the way you're supposed to. I think that there's good distractions and I think that there's negative distractions. I think that when love is distracting you from your goals, that's I can't call it love. Yeah, I, yeah. I, would I would say that's settling. Yeah. That's settling. That's settling. That's bothering you. Yeah. Like, have you ever been so bothered with something that you yeah. can't sleep yeah. or that you're restless? Yeah. yeah. That's settling. Yeah. So when, I think when you're, when you're in love, is it distracting you from your goals? It's subjective right, cause because it could be a sacrifice in a way for the greater good. Right. right. So it depends on what the greater good yeah. is in that relationship. Yeah. So, but your personal yeah. goals, I'd have to say that I pretty much think it's impossible yeah. that it there's, be you can't divide it your time. It. You Nobody can divide their time yeah. to the point where they can give everything to mm-hmm. their relationship and everything to their personal Bro. goals. Yeah. So I think that, you know, when it comes, I can speak for them. I can't speak for every man, of course. I can speak for myself. I think a lot of times we go into, and we, we always try to put this on a woman, right? And we go into things trying to change people. And like you have, I think it comes from lack of knowing somebody that you're getting yeah. in a relationship with. Because if you knew me, you knew how I'm, how I'm reacting in a lot of situations, right? I think but Not, you change over time. Right, too. things change, of course. Yeah, change However, it's like, I have a goal. This mm-hmm, is what right. it goes into, right? We get in a relationship. I'm thinking you support my goal, or what I'm doing is intriguing you. But you don't understand what, what comes goes with into it, it, right? So, like, for example, like, yeah. I was hosting a lot of events. You know what I'm saying? At first, it was fun. Yeah. We always, at the concert, you it might meet lit. a celebrity or whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? It's fun. And then you understand that 
along the line, I'm hosting concerts. Girls like it as well. The same thing mm -hmm. that attracted you is attracting so many others, right? Mm -hmm. So you got girls jumping up and down. I like that guy, whatever the case may be. And now you don't like that. And then that's when the problems come. So it's not a, it's, and, and what I will say is I think distraction is a choice. Like, let's not get it fucked up. It's so not, are you mm. distracted by her discomfort? Or are you saying she's distracted now from her go her goals because she's so worried about how everybody's into you? It's it both. both. It's both, it right? Both. So I feel like a lot mm -hmm. of times if, if my woman is not happy or she is expressing some discomfort to yeah. me as a, it's my job as a man to try to fix that and that's what we do we, we you know what i'm right, saying as right, men right. we try to fix things yeah. so we're trying to fix it so and and only thing i think of is fixing it is to not do it so that mm -hmm. can be a distraction however right if, if you are a man of determination you're going to get the job done no matter what yeah. it's, it's, it's more than one way to skin yeah. a cat but are you going to get the job done to the best of your ability you exactly are. you're yeah. going to get the job done to the best of your ability it might just look different now mm -hmm. yeah that's it that's I, it's, a, it's adapting to right. the situation right. so that it works within your relationship yeah. so i feel like sometimes you can be consumed with the person and i think that that's very unhealthy and i think that that's a major oh, part yeah. of distraction um, however, I also think that sometimes you can get with a person and they are bringing you more than you would have been able to get on your own with the goals. So you have a little bit of a little bit more leeway for distraction. But then, mm -hmm. see, I feel like you have to I'd be able to identify with that, mm -hmm. because if you can't see it as that, you'll see it as somebody critiquing you and somebody being condescending. So it's being in the right state of mind where you can receive that. But no, as something because, that's better for you, because I don't even I don't even mean by like support in, a, in an emotional aspect mm -hmm. i mean like somebody connecting you with somebody that mm -hmm. can help you out yeah. more and you know yeah. you you're doing yeah. it one way and then somebody he, you're and significant they introduce other, you to a different type of lifestyle to a different right. lifestyle they introduce you to a different right. type of way to do it that is more right. productive well, and that, than the way you were doing see, it right. but in return you're still distracted yeah. by them and I, then like, I, wouldn't, I, also, I see i wouldn't even word that as a distraction though i see that more kinda, so as motivation like i wouldn't even turn word so, that as a distraction and i think there's thin lines between distraction motivation compromise and sacrifice and the reason why is because like i feel like you know when i was younger like and i used to be in relationships like it used to like could literally distract me like it's like consume oh, you. i'm i'm so heartbroken over something i don't even want to go to work today mm -hmm. but as a grown-ass motherfucker oh yeah i'm getting, I'm up getting the fuck to go to work i ain't got no time you know right. what i'm saying so i might be it's not as distracting because it's like i'm still getting my goals done. i feel like distraction is when i'm no longer focused on my goals and i'm now the tearing away from what I need to get done because I'm too consumed with this. Falling now I do passion, feel like yeah. in terms of what Jazz said, I feel like there's sacrifice because it's like if I am with somebody who brings more to the table and there is other ways to get this done, you know, proactively without certain things, that's not a distraction. That's more of a sacrifice. A sacrifice. You get okay. what I'm saying? And then it turns into a compromise because look, now we're all happy yep. because you bring to the table for me. I still get the job done. It may it also isn't in the light that you don't like and unless you just like you know what I'm saying? The other side, then that's another topic. But we all can now compromise on the I fact agree that we're progressing. That. I think if you go in those steps, you can have a successful yeah. relationship and you can have a successful career. How does that look, though? Because I feel like a lot of times in these situations, again, we talk about the happy, wife, happy mm -hmm. life, right? And I feel like a lot of times in these situations, it's always the man having to compromise what he does because... No. I feel like no. women have to do it, too. We do it big time. I feel like women have to do it. We do it big time. I feel like women have to do it. We do it big time. Here we go. I'm not going to say that. Let me be fair. However, I do feel Choose like words wisely. I do feel like a lot of times men have to be the one that's sacrificing what they're doing because that no, that, I think that's, a, that's, I that's think not that's, right. I think I that's a patriarchy way of thinking, I disagree. and I think that's only because if it's you're assuming, I think it is patriarchy thinking because I think that's only assuming that the man is the only one with the career of that stature to be altered. Like women now I mean, to this just, day, women now to this day is leading the same lives as men, right, so, so it can it's definitely fair. the same so thing. So for the sake of so, conversation, wait, hold up, don't. That, like y'all be like wishy washy, and I said, nah, it's not wishy washy. Hold on, let me let me say my point. You literally said name a situation where the woman is the breadwinner and it worked out in a relationship. We couldn't, right? Oprah so no, said say, he couldn't. I can name yeah, one. Oprah. Right? So why didn't you? So why didn't you? Why, can, uh, Candy and Ty. So why didn't y'all about... name him when she asked the he, question? No, I'm she confused. asked Alex because no, we're not in school and we don't have to do it when you want us to do it. You was Power cap, John bro. Like, y'all cap. Like, but now y'all manipulate the situation to work nah, in y'all face. Nah, now we manipulate it. Real shit. I think women do more of the um sacrificing. sacrificing. No, the sacrificing okay. because. I think a lot of the times the male career is dominant. Men make more money than women in everything. Right. Think about it. In in sports, in music, 
well i'm not gonna, well yeah even in music yeah everybody's number one is a man for real yeah. when it comes to to money yeah and success so i think that most of the time the women are the ones doing the sacrificing because the male career is more lucrative yeah i agree okay mm. All right. I, I i can i can um yeah, I can roll with that. That's so, y'all. We think that a lot of times we can agree that women do more sacrificing when it comes I, I, to I say both. the relationship and I say both. I think however, both. Yeah. I think that I think women, women do, do have another. So, like, it's one thing. Like, I feel like women do sacrifice careers, and then they end up having kids for men, so they have to sacrifice again because now they have yes. to have so, kids. That takes a so lot. that takes a lot of the cake. So once I have to sacrifice career and have your kid, baby, now I done have to sacrifice so my have life ever, in general. I'm going to throw, I'm a throw, throw a curveball, right? And maybe I shouldn't because I can't really give you all the history and the backstory behind it. Oh have y'all ever heard of like the Lord, the saying that we, we, weren't, we wasn't meant to, um, to be monogamous? Like, have y'all ever heard Absolutely that theory? Absolutely heard it. Y'all heard, heard that theory. It. So I just feel like, however, like, I feel like, just like it's things that y'all sacrifice, it's things that men sacrifice as well. What, and I'm pussy? Not, like, pussy? I, mean, I thought like, pussy wasn't that important. important. I mean, didn't you say it wasn't that important? If y'all want, Which I mean, not pussy's so not a, you don't pussy's need pussy, not, right? Yeah, pussy's oh, not, now it's a, not, not a reward. What, what, nah, but. It's not a reward. Now That's it's on a trophy. Said. Again, nah, Now it's on a pedestal. I'm gonna stand my ground. All I'm saying is, I'm not saying that it's right. However, men have to sacrifice their, their, their growth time for a lot for women a lot of times because a lot of times we get into a relationship and honestly to keep it 100 we might not be ready for that but we gotta sacrifice sacrifice for that well because if you're not relationship. ready don't do it I, it sounds good but i could say the same thing for women if you're not ready don't get into this relationship with a man that gotta do this this and that mm. I it's, don't but, do but it. I feel like if men were no, honest again, I feel yeah, like I that, it you. goes down to honesty like men not coming out like you know what i struggle with being monogamous you gonna no man, no man, they no not man doing that. Admit that. They not admitting it. Fair. No, I've heard it. I've heard I mean, it I, you probably I mean, heard, but I've mean, like, heard him say that like not I'm not a man, man, not man, 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 man trying to keep a woman one. around and be in a relationship with her. I'll take that. Slim to none. Maybe a buddy, but not like a you know. Yeah. I'll take that. So um, we talking uh. Okay. No. Okay. I got to say No. No. Jazz has a curveball. Yeah. Okay. So I want to throw into this um the ego. You know, mm -hmm. here we go. All right. So here's the scenario. I want to hear what everybody would do mm -hmm. individually. So you're going on a date, right? right? With the woman you're dating. Yeah. You get, I'm talking. God I'm listening. Damn, I'm listening. It's Jay with all the. <laughs> no, I wasn't. Get you nervous. You don't know no, what I'm about to no, say. No, I'm listening. I'm listening. Yeah. All right. So you go on a date, right? Um, And your date's ex is in the building okay all mm -hmm. right let's just say a restaurant okay we so, have a restaurant so you go on a date and your significant other's ex is in the building you get up to go to the bathroom and when you come back <laughs> your date is over there key keying with their ex damn. speaking to them see he's already like damn that's a damn you're gonna go it, like it, that it just <laughs> see? Right. right so how you act how are you gonna act are you leaving her? Are you getting mad? Are you about to beat this nigga's ass? Like, what's next? It's somebody you're dealing with. It's, like, it's somebody that you're dealing with, talking to somebody that they used to deal with, and you're there. All right. How you act? First of all, y'all, y'all, were they fucking the nigga? Like, cause y'all yes, dealing. Yes, this is an ex. See, this the woman thing ex. that we it's talking about. It's like, an ex. It's so she was fucking the nigga. She was fucking the nigga. Yeah, she was fucking the nigga. That's her ex. She was fucking him. She was fucking that nigga raw. And she caca. <laughs> not Kai Kai. They almost had a baby. Yeah, he they almost, almost passed had out. A baby, and I'm laughing, and you're laughing with him. I mean, you're going over, you're greeting him. You met a little short catch hey, up. Yeah. You know, you come out. How back you from introduce the... me? Who said I was introducing you? That's that. There we go. So, right, doing? Let's start, let's... so you got so sick. They have to introduce you. What the fuck are you? Okay, so... ha ha. He he and with a motherfucker <laughs> in the club. And it's just like, mad. yeah, okay. I do. What? So okay, what are you doing? What are you doing though? Nah, see. Passive aggressive cancer, you know what I'm saying? So we strategic with this. I ain't gonna say shit right now. We're gonna have a good time. But best believe when we get in the car, we we're gonna talk about it. But like I, I ain't gonna make it so scene. So you're not gonna cancel her though. So you, you, we gotta have some understanding. <laughs> we're gonna have a conversation. You know what I'm saying? Like what the fuck was going on? I need so clarity. What she, so what is what the is issue she, though? What the fuck are you laughing with and your we, ex? Okay, for? and what is she was, justifying it? Ain't no justification. The fuck are you justifying? <laughs> but what if but it was a, what, what if it was an old female friend that she knew and and she was just saying hi to them? Would it be an issue? What, what do she, you mean? Like if she saw somebody, if you see somebody that you know, right? You speak to them, right? Uh huh. So you don't speak to none of your exes. No, they not in no Nigga, situation. No, I, say, I, do, so I, was say, I don't. Um, I don't. So if if I came out, my girl was talking to our ex or whatever. I'm like, what's up? 
I'm not really. I'm gonna be like, okay. And then mm-hmm. after when we're done, I'm gonna ask you like, what, what, what was that about? Everything right. good. But I probably, I probably would feel some type of way. But yeah. it wouldn't be something that I would make an issue. If right. That makes sense. I would feel a way because I'm human. Oh, y'all mature, mature. Nah, I'm, no, I'm saying I'm human, so I would feel a way. Of course, I'm not absolutely. Gonna lie, but I wouldn't let that because what, clearly if we're together. Now I will say Jay is very he. So one time we was in the club. He loved to tell this story. This was like year one of our day. And one time we was in the club mm-hmm. and Jay was hosting. Um, it was I was his friends was there. I was like with these girls, whatever. And we was like I'm from Connecticut, so I was saying. And the guy behind us was like, "Oh, I'm from Connecticut." What I was like, "Oh yeah, you you know we in Baltimore." But look you know, at his face. Trenches. Look at his face. He's right? Getting, like his neck hurt. So, no, no, he don't his like neck this hurt. He don't like it. My neck so, hurt boom, too, bro. The nigga, it but it was you. really just off. Of, oh, you from Connecticut? I'm from Connecticut. So I was like, "Yeah, yeah, whatever." Jay must have looked over. I was talking to the nigga, right? For like so five, that, six minutes. In the club. It. You had you a timer. You had a timer. And he hear shit. That's, That's what I'm saying. You in the club. Ha ha. He he. So, so, five, six minutes. <laughs> so he asked me. So I that guess Jay was trying to. They I guess he was trying up. to. I guess he was trying to get she my attention. I guess he was trying to. You know, but if you're from Connecticut, I mean, we from. I ain't a lot of people from Connecticut. But you're not friendly. I'm confused. That's how I'm friendly to me. I thought you. I thought everything was cool. You want to be So I guess he was trying to get my attention. I didn't see Jay trying to get my attention. It's <laughs> so after Ch- Jay was, he didn't react right then and there. But after he was like, "What the fuck, bro?" Like <laughs> the right you know way. But what I will say, let me tell you, I'm not that mature. If I see you over there kiki keying up with an ex that you know, what I'm saying, I clearly know your ex, so I probably know the back end story already. And then I see you in the back, I ain't that calm. I'm like, "Um, hello, excuse me, hello, what's all the I, problem?" All I'm saying, like, is, like, what are we talking about? I feel like let's look at the facts, though. If I'm if I'm with you, right, and you go to the bathroom and I'm talking to my ex. I clip like I know that. And, and why she ain't come up to the table while we were sitting there? When while we was both there. That's that's what I was. See, about that's to why say. I don't. That's why I'm looking at the whole situation. That's, 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 that's why I was that's, analyzing that's, the whole like, situation. I was like, leave. See, I didn't think. So I was that's why, like, why you wait till I leave? Why are you talking now? Like, nah, like, so oh, would that's you sneaky. would you prefer them to speak to them or not speak to them? So what are you speaking to so them about? I, I, like, I that's mean, the question. But, but do you acknowledge you, their presence? I, what are you I know this up person. For? I guess it also has to do with this, right? This guy so, still wants to know what, what like, everybody's what the fuck you talk, so, so, What are so you me, talking about? I, I, like, what I, is I, the I, conversation? I don't got no bad blood with nobody, but I don't keep no communication with my ex. Fuck them niggas. Like, straight up. Like, Man, see, I'm cool with my exes. Not all yeah. of them, but some of them. So yeah. if I see them, I'm going to speak to them because I feel like I don't want anybody to. I don't want to be cool with anybody who can't speak to me in front of everybody. Not real. So if there's real nothing though. to hide. Yeah, I'm gonna go speak to them. That's how but I feel. But if, if I'm sitting there, if but, he respects me, yeah. he ain't gonna disrespect who but I came with. But my only with. thing is, don't wait till I leave That's to go to if. the bathroom though to do it. See, if I'm there, y'all yeah, resp- speak. I'm cool. If I'm sitting point, there, it's like, hey, how you doing? How you what doing? If, oh, what's up? But like, what if I'm giving you my undivided attention at that moment, and then you step off, and now I have a yeah. That's not respect though, because you know what the fuck going on. If you see, if it's just us two sitting down, you see me walking with the person you come up after the fact yeah. you know what the fuck you, you was doing because you, you could have came at you had an opportunity at any moment like if you would have came when we sitting there together it was like hey no and respect. On top of how that, you doing like da, 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 like that's your lady how you doing it's respectful but if i leave and then you come up and you seen this motherfucker y'all was sitting at different tables you seen him the whole time and you like hmm then i come back from the bathroom oh it's up in a stuck bitch and i'm a nigga for everybody so i feel like for i know everybody. how niggas think it ain't gonna be Try no to put more your back in so what restaurant me personally I ain't about to let no bitch see me sweat. That's so real. that's, that's, and that's real. how I look at it. But like, that's what that's I said. So I'm not going to have the conversation then. But when we yeah. leave, like, yeah, you're never going to see me sweat right there and then. But best believe the minute the doors close in that I car. I still got some maturing to do. It's, it's just going to be a. a bitch, I, I, it's, it's certain elements. Because here's, it's a, here's what it is. I, have, I won't let a bitch see me sweat. But in those moments, you're I'll not about to play with me. And this is just me being vulnerable. Hold on. That's what I was going to say. It depends on. It depends on. It depends on where you leaning in. Yeah, it's like what, did but you, no, was but, your hand were you on his standing shoulder, at the, like yeah. were you hugging him? Oh no, you touch like, No, I'll break I'll her fingers break off one fingers by one. And we ain't playing like here's that. Here's why I feel like you Them have to have that conversation right there. Because if I feel that strongly about it and I don't speak on it, the emotions are still there. Mm-hmm. So best believe that action is going to come one way or another. Mm-hmm. I'd rather the action be a conversation between you and I so yeah. that I can get it out there so that I can speak my piece. Then I go and feel a particular type of way and I feel justified to do something that's wrong because of something that you did in the right. past. And that's right. what happens because people are childish and they don't yeah. deal with that problem yeah. when it should be dealt with. So you're dealing right. with it and you have that resentment within your heart. So now 
the minute I see an ex or something like that, you may not even be there. Right. But because I know in the back of my mind you did that shit, yeah. it's like, all right, bet. Fuck it then. Because yeah. I got a pass. Or in my mind, I don't necessarily have yeah, that pass, star but Alex. I see that pass. Trap I'm star Alex. Trap star. Right. right. The <laughs> real Alex coming the out. I'm, Alex. I'm just all saying. My exes. I'm just letting it be known right now. I see my ex. What it do, baby? You was my nigga. What's up? We still cool? All right, cool. But I'm enjoying my time with the current nigga. He looks like he wants to knock me out. Nah, What's nah, going nah. on, Jay? It was actually a situation that um, Shadi had seen her ex in the club at the yeah. hookah bar. Oh, yeah. And I, I think I might have been like, yo, you speak all, like with Hell everything. No. I'm like, like, you want to leave? Know. You know what I'm saying? So I was good. It was no. It was no. Like I just don't yeah, speak to me. No, I, don't speak to you. I mean, like, if it's somebody you yeah. don't fuck with, but yeah, even, like but I didn't fuck with him. So it was like I'm not like speak for what. So like, you gotta you understand. So, like, so I have my insecurities as a man. Right? Absolutely. But at the same time, I feel like I am a secure man. So the things that I'm not insecure about, I don't care about. Right. Yeah. So when I say that, I'm the same guy that was going to invite one of her exes to her birthday because she told me the impact that his family had to her. Right, so I'm hold up. No, no, no. We're not talking about like baby no, daddies. No, 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 no. I ain't saying no. I wasn't baby daddy. Oh, you, but, you real mature. But, no, but that's what I'm saying. Ain't no, no. bitch stepping up in the party. But you gotta she's it's, coming. It's, it's I told him no. I I'm said no. I'm, for what? No, Listen, I'm saying for, what? I'm saying for me, I'm huge on friendship, right? Well, so mm -hmm. if you see an ex, I would hope, and we talked about this yeah. about um discernment. I would hope that your exes or majority of your exes are somebody that you have a real bond right. and with. I will, yeah. And to agree with Jazz, like I will say, it's not all, like some of my exes, I don't got no rap for, but some, I like, you know, yeah, it, it's, it's good. Cool. Like, like you know what I'm saying? Chris came to my birthday party, we was all in there. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But like, it's certain things. Like, if I seen like, you know, Chris out, like I'd be like, hey, what's up? How you doing? Yeah. Like, cause he knows, Jay, like that already been, you know what I mean? Established. established. But like a nigga that but I don't really but care if it's for. Like, like, but what if, it's an ex, what if it's an ex that he hasn't met? And, but you know what's crazy though? <laughs> it was an ex that I haven't met. I probably, I would hope you would tell me. Yeah. Now, yeah. I, now I would tell, no, but see, well, I told, when I seen that ex, I told Jay after the fact. But that's like, cool. But I, but I wasn't, but I didn't say, no, I did. I told him after the fact, but I, I when he was in there, I didn't speak to him because I didn't care. Like he, he up. Like, no, I was but like, if you didn't speak, that's yeah, different. Up. Like, but like when after, but it wasn't ruining my time. Like I was like, no, nah, I had a good time. My sister was there. I was with my nigga. I look good. He looked good. We all in here. A vibe. So after it was, I wasn't about to ruin the vibes. But, but like, still, so, you, yo. so you do think that it is insecure though, if somebody does have an issue with you going nah, to speak to your it's, it's human. It's just it's, the way you mature yeah, it. Like, I would, yeah. I would have an issue, but again, because I matured in that in that aspect of my life, I would have an issue. But that's just being human. But yeah. at the same time, I'm gonna come to you and speak to you because, and even even let's say exactly. worst case scenario, right? Like like y'all saying, if he came to speak to you when I went to my went to the bathroom, he probably didn't know how I was gonna react. That's Honestly, real. you that's know what I'm saying? True. And that's I can't get mad at that. For example, it's, it's weird. Like I, I don't even think like I think me and Chris spoke like a couple times, but we yeah. never really. Spoke, spoke, spoke. Yeah. but and that's and I don't blame that on put yeah. that on him. I would hope he don't put that on me. But right. honestly, as men, that's just, it'd be awkward. You know what like, what, is the, what is there to talk about? Yeah, though? Is this really? But, you know what I'm saying? So it's like I don't Alex, think. Alex, what, Alex, what are we talking about? Alex, what are we talking about? What are we talking about? But yeah, so it's energy, like, Adam. What is it to talk some, about? With some guys, it's awkward, and I can understand nah, that. That's real. You know what I'm saying? So if, if you let me know, like, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, like as I mature and stuff like that, like I don't have no bad blood with nobody. Like, mm. yeah, nah, it's a couple a people couple. I still smack yeah, if I see any death. But it's like I don't really have no bad blood with nobody. Where it's like it get, but like I'm also not friends with that many people so i don't really care like it's one of those things like if i see you say what's up to me but honestly i'm gonna be honest i'm not really the bitch that goes speak first to anybody like i ain't gonna be That's honest like, Scorpio like i'm just real. like what's up like but i'm True. not really no I'm like hi like but oh i, I got hi like, but i got yeah, exactly. it but i, I want to like, understand either both sides though i can understand that right if i if it's, if it's something that i've been working on is i'm not insecure about it but let's let's be real right let's say if this is an ex that you say um i don't know let's say we had a conversation you said my dick wasn't all that right but you you had one ex that you always <laughs> bragged about that that sex was good, right? And I see you talking. Hold on, because if, if, if a nigga is bragging about how good his last right. bitch pussy was, you need to drop all right, that. All right, all right, all right, so, so, so let's, nigga, I'll try no, to, I can't even. Right, so let's, let's we're get, not even going good so for, no more. I, was I say, can't oh, even process so that. So for example, like, let's, let's be completely real, right? We talked about how like one of my insecurities is like the, yeah. the bag, right? Because I'm I want to be there. I'm not there yet, right? You always talk about this ex that that's rich or whatever the case may be, and I come out the bathroom. You talking this ex that's rich? I, my emotions might take <laughs> overtake over, you, you and you would knock him out. Now he's rich, but he can't now, beat me up. Right, right. Because right. right. so right. right. you know how Jay, you don't want right. to listen. I'll see you now. <laughs> I mean, so and that's a part of my insecurity. So that's why I Alex say, is like I'm with all this shit, but I still don't know what's going on. He's crying. I've been crying the whole time. Like he's like my shoulder. You about to call this bitch? Like right? You been talking to your motherfucking ex? Goddamn right. We having a conversation. We watching. 
so yeah, let's pull up. Which one? For me, Which one? Like, all of them. them. Right. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, for me, it's like it's really like the level of the emotions and and where you're at, right? If it's something that you told me, whatever, and I'm not bothered about, I might come out yeah. and be like, you know what? It's cool. It's, you know what I'm saying? I respect it. But if it's something that like get me more emotional, I probably would be upset. I'll say this. Be Hit, honest. Just throw another scenario. Or well, it's multiple because y'all got me thinking this. Alex said his back. So boom. So boom. So, boom. so the, boom. If you, it depends on like, so say we out, he's on a date with a girl. Okay. You're on a date as well. If he leaves his date to come talk to you, I think at that point, you gotta depending leave. on the conversation, <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> He like, because why the fuck would you leave your date? The waiter's like, the waiter's gonna be like, are you ready to order yet? Alice gonna be like, no, 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 hold that, hold that, hold that. Because she over, are we having a double date at that point? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. So I'm working on myself. I ain't that mature, boy. Me neither. Because if you leave your date, you got to talk to your old joint. Like, hold, bro. Like, what is this respect? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So the reason why, no, but hold on. The reason why I always um acknowledge like somebody that I've had relations with in the past is because one time oh here we go uh, story time story time jazz. with jazz we love a jazz story now right. scorpio moment with jazz so i was dating this boy oh boy this boy Jeez. he was a boy at the time we were younger did he buy you mcdonald's wow no a young he probably was buying like cheesecake now we never went Cheesecake. Mm -hmm. Now you young, you be trying. No, you be trying no, 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 no. We weren't that young. Like I was grown, but he was kind of young. Oh, he was young. He, I mean, he was. You younger. were a cougar. He was a cougar. He, I was a cougar. Or is the basketball player? Wow. Damn, Jay. Wow. Anyway, what level of athlete was this? Was this college? Was this NCAA? Was this? Uh, okay, because cheers, we don't do anything less, sweetie. Number one. Well, y'all don't do anything less. What y'all? Then what? Say it on the mic. <laughs> no, no. Then number Look one. Look at Jay. Okay. Oh, he's a number one draft pick. No. What oh. year? You said number one. Oh, Jay, shut up. Oh, he was a number one. All right, draft no. Pick. Listen. Oh, what year? Can I tell the story? Right. All NBA. I'm gonna tell the story. <laughs> All right. So boom. First team. All right. So. She will not keep giving, not not giving us names and shit. All right, so look, he, matter of fact, I was with y'all. We were at the club. Wow. So, I remember that night. Yeah, yeah. So my friend who plays for the Wizards was like, oh, we about to go fuck stadium up. Like, come out. And I'm like, nah, I'm already out. And then he, my he nigga. still play for the Wizards? Nah. Uh, he, I think he, he played traded. for. Uh, no, 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 no. no we're not talking guessing. about the guy. He's guessing. Oh, okay. So, no, we're talking about my friend. Not, uh, the, not my boy. Yeah. He was my boyfriend at the time, the guy. So my friend is like, uh, we about to go fuck stadium up. Woo -woo. So I'm like. Nah, so he like, man, fuck that. I'm about to spin a bin and come get you from St. Eve's. We going. So I'm like, all right, fuck it. I'm trying to explain to him. My nigga is, is in town. They play against y'all tomorrow. To estimate 10 lines. He's like, St. Eve's. No, no, no. I feel like he, he might have played for like, da, da, da. Uh, um. Overseas? Nah, it wasn't what? overseas. No. Okay. So not I think there. I There's know what team might have been. Anyway. Can, I, right, can I take a guess? No. no. Can I just finish the story? Can you, so, you can say the colors though. Uh, <laughs> I feel like the least you can do is say the colors. Can I say the colors? No, we can't say the colors. Look, can I white. say the colors? Boom. Okay, white. Can I say there the colors? Go. Can I say the colors? No, Jay. All right. We so, can't even say the colors. I just want to finish the story and tell you why I, I, I always was it knowledge. blonde. Uh, <laughs> okay. Is this so, why you change your hair? So my nigga is you a team player. All right, I'm done. Oh, <laughs> I'm done. That was for that. 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 Yeah, I got you. It wasn't a Lakers, bro. It wasn't a Lakers. It was like a part, like a like an East Coast thing. Go to state. Anyway, I'm trying to think of our team that had yellow. All right, so Go to state is an East Coast on thing. Oh, you said East Coast. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Thank you. I'm just trying to explain to you guys why I always speak to people that I have relations with. Now I feel attacked. I don't even want to tell the story anymore. Come on, baby. Okay, so my nigga was in the at the hotel. He was getting some rest. I went. Sure. I'm sure because he was waiting for me. He he left the key at the desk and all that. So Here go Jay. they just be doing shit like never mind. Go ahead though. No, this was my boyfriend at the time. Oh, okay, no, okay, 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 okay. So, but he was from where I was from, so he okay. was playing number against... one draft pick from where I'm from. Ooh, here we go. All right, you keep giving Jay. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Stop. Just don't, don't, don't. Jay, 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 I ain't no giving no details. more details. He ain't here no, no more. more right. So, my heart. <laughs> <laughs> so he was he was at the room getting rest or whatever, and I was like, um, I'm about to go to the. Um, I was at with y'all and he was like well when you leave there I'm going to bed like I'm not waiting for you no more like whatever I put a key at the desk so I'm like alright whatever so I go with my brother to the club and what, I told him though what club was it was it, it was Rose Bar no, she's at stadium. with the stadium oh, okay. so 
I told him though, I said, I'm about to go with my brother to the club real quick and then I'm gonna be on the way. Um, I said he, you know, he plays for the hmm. Wizards and it ain't nothing like that, but that's my nigga. Like, we about to go slide through real quick. So he like, all right, whatever, do whatever the fuck you want, just hurry up. So I get to the club and when we get in the section, his team is in the section. But I had no idea that his team was going to be in the section. So I'd see somebody that I used to deal with. Um, I ain't going to say who that is either. That's What's crazy. he a baller to? He used to play football. So he's down there. Wow. And I see Think him. Risk is? Nah. I see him and he sees me. But I'm just standing there. I'm standing with my friend who plays for the Wizards, though. But apparently the... I can't even say the team. The other teams. Come on. The other teams behind me. All right, so the Sixers is behind me. Okay. So, but I didn't know like number what one was draft going. pick for the Sixers that's from here. All right. Only, they I only mean, been one in the it. last decade. Who is it? Who is it? No, they no, only no, been no, one. No, I'm not giving him. All right, no. we just gonna say I'm number one draft no. pick for the, for the Sixers that's from here. There's only been one. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. Hey, he was, he was a boy at the time. He was young. My bad. I'm sorry. Go ahead. So anyway. <laughs> but he wore purple in college. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ding, ding, ding. I'm about to cut the fucking mic. I'm about to cut Alex. Y'all are so <laughs> terrible. You did it. All right. So let me just. Can I finish the story? Okay. So his team is there. I'm like, shit. Like, I'm not about to speak to i mean of course i'm with the nigga i yeah. came with but i'm not about to speak to the yeah because yeah, yeah. i know now niggas probably watching i ain't doing that right so boom i get to the hotel or whatever i go upstairs he's knocked out he's in the bed he's dead sleep so i'm like all right cool like he's sleep i'm about to just go to sleep too i'm tired then my phone starts ringing so i didn't answer it at first and but it's on silent so it's not waking anybody up so the nigga keeps calling, keeps calling. So I finally answer. And he like, oh, so that's how you doing it now? So I'm like, what you talking about? He like, so you ain't see me in stadium just now? I'm like, nah. He like, come on, bro. I looked at you. Look at me. That's what we doing? I seen you. See me. See you. <laughs> so my nigga is sleep. So I'm, I'm like, what? Like, you tripping? Like, Wait, hold up. You answered the phone call while your nigga was asleep? Yeah, because he was blowing me up. And I'm like, all right. From what the ex? He want? It wasn't an ex, but it was somebody that I did deal with. The nigga died? <laughs> Cause who the fuck you answering the phone for? Your nigga sleep, he couldn't and the nigga me. calling you that you used to deal with. Like, like I'm you drunk. Done. You gotta remember, I'm also drunk. I've been drinking since we was at that restaurant, mm. and so I was drunk, drunk, drunk. So I'm thinking, get that shit off the screen, Jay, or I will bust you upside your motherfucking head. Because mm -hmm. no, for real, I don't want to say who he is because the story. I just saw it. I, I googled so, it. Can I see? No, uh, can I finish the story? Yeah. Go ahead, finish the story. No, right. You're correct. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to be clear. I just wanted to be clear. That's all I wanted to be clear. Yo, I just wanted to be clear. Keep going. I had to ease his pain. I was like, all right, so I'm thinking this nigga's knocked out. So I'm like, nah, nah. We got one. I'm like, <laughs> good investigative work. <laughs> Y'all so like, terrible. I'm like, nah, I ain't see you. I ain't see you. So the nigga is like, oh, so what? I gotta have a Sixers jersey on for you to speak to me now. Ooh. So I'm like, so he know, but we ain't. So oh, wow. I'm like, so I'm like, hey, you wildin'? So I hang the phone up. Soon as I fucking hang the he phone up, my nigga sleep. pops up out of sleep yeah. like Frankenstein. Yeah. The nigga like, boom, grab me on the bed. So I'm like, off of me. So he's like, who is who the fuck are you talking to? Who the fuck are you talking to? I'm like, my cousin. See my cousin. <laughs> That's he like choking y'all. So this man was and you lied. He choked me. The first lie. thing you did was lie though. You said it was your who? It was my cousin. cousin that called you. <laughs> yeah. So you lied. <laughs> It's the it's, nah. It wasn't. I was trying to. It wasn't a lie. <laughs> I was trying to defuse the situation. I wasn't trying to get anything more hyped up. With a lie, let's talk about it. <laughs> so it's let's, toxic, let's it's talk toxic about here, baby. So he's choking me. He like, that's your cousin. Call him back right now. Call him back right now. So I'm like, nah, nah. I'm like, get off me. Get off. If me. you don't believe me, then yeah, fuck it. Then. Yeah, that's the problem. Cause you always did it. So he like, all right, cool. So he get off me. He like, here, here's your phone call him so i'm like nobody's gonna be up right now he's like you was just talking <laughs> to the nigga so i unlock the shit i fake call <laughs> i'm sitting there on the edge of the bed like this he ain't answer he can yeah he ain't answer but the phone you can see the screensaver <laughs> this nigga it'd be the like, dumb lies though that's the nigga, part that be getting me <laughs> nah, I mean, it was the moment. I'm trying. I'm fast on my he feet was drunk it was drunk that's all home. it was so you know they say make it home this nigga grabbed the phone he like fuck it he goes to the last call he called a nigga Oh boy. He like, 
Play me one on one for her heart. That's what he Play said. Play me one on one for her heart. For her heart. Play me one on one. <laughs> Alex, go to hell. Alex is back. Alex okay. is wallet. The nigga said, "Play me so for her said, heart." Wait, don't. Wait, don't <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Yes, wait. he said, "Play each other the next day." No, 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 no. Oh. This was somebody who was not play me for her. Heart. Oh, he wasn't on the team at the nah, time. Nah, no, he was on the. He was on the nigga I went to the club with was my friend. He knew that. This had nothing to do with him. It was another nigga that, okay. with that was in the club that saw me okay. with him thinking, right. with his with team behind gap. me thinking yeah. that I was with the Sixers, but I wasn't. I was yeah. just in the section. So, but my nigga heard it and automatically thought like, oh, he must be talking about me. Like I'm about to go off. So he calls him. He's like, who's this? So the nigga like, what? Number one draft pick, nigga. What you talking about? <laughs> Number no, one draft pick, he nigga. Called, the draft pick asked him. No, he is. called the the old the nigga I used to mess with. What, what number was he? What pick? <laughs> no, I don't think he played. He, he played basketball. He played, he played football. football. Yeah, he played. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, like relax. All right, so he caused it. It wasn't for the Vikings, though, right? No. Oh wow. <laughs> okay. Who is that purple? That's just her favorite team, y'all. That's yeah, just her favorite team. team. Favorite come on, y'all. That's just your favorite team. team. Right. Damn, team. like, come on. So was I close? <laughs> <laughs> Jay, grow up. I'm oh, sorry, we childish shit. Is that the reason childish. that's your No. Okay, all right, all right. Just no. Because that's you got a nigga that's traded. Right. The Vikings is just no, what? Everybody has a past. Everybody dated. It wasn't a big deal. So he's like who is this? And he's like, um, what? Like, nigga. And so he says who he is. You Hope. tell us everything else but that. What, who, who was he? He was, I what told was you. his name? Nah, I'm not gonna say the name because that's just too much. All right. So he like, hold up. This from the, oh shit, what up, bro? These niggas cousins. Hey, yo. <laughs> I don't give a fuck if they were so real cousins. Rapid. Oh, there I we don't go. Give a fuck number fuck one there traffic was... for the sixes. He got a cousin that's in the NFL. Say less. Let me see. They got the same last name or not? No. Probably not. Oh, right, probably so not. cousins don't have the same. This last. is a wild. This is some wild times. So I'm like on the edge of the bed, like so they, you know, chopping it. Hey, what's up, cousin? Oh, you went to auntie house today. You yeah, gonna be the to topic of the discussion? You wanna, next you gonna, time, you wanna have my house for Christmas? You said like, that, that was your cousin, and it happened to be his cousin. Yeah. Look at the fucking lie. So, that's why I said so the now lie. You family. Now I can't deal with you because I'm your cousin. <laughs> so. That would have been an easy <laughs> out. So I was like, shit. oh, I guess we all cousins. <laughs> so now my nigga is like. What up, cousin? No, my nigga dubbed me. Like, that's the first time a nigga ever dubbed me. Like, he was like, oh, we done. Like, get right out. Right there and then? Yeah. Damn. So I'm like, get out. It's cold out there, baby. We're all <laughs> out. So he like, nah, for real. nah, he like, not nah, for real though. He like, I see what and you, you did there. you came back to the club, I think. I did. I remember. <laughs> and you talked to the nigga that was, because he was, the, he probably was like, fucking. That was just spiteful. Back. That was just. The... He was like that. But the problem was, nah. So he's like that now. But at the time, this is why I say I always speak to my, I will always acknowledge like people I'm cool with. Because me and this nigga, we was real close. You know what I'm saying? So for me to not speak to him, that wasn't cool. But after that situation, like, it was it was different. Like he wasn't my friend the way he was, and he straight up told me, and he was like, "See, if you ever choose, don't ever choose your boyfriend over your friends, because when that nigga and you are done, who you gonna be coming to to talk to and hang out with and woo woo? And now he we can't even kick it like that no yeah. more. So for yeah. me, I'ma always oh, no. choose my girlfriend over my friend because if you my friend, you're you gonna understand, understand when I come period. back. Still, like, you have the it, unconditional I'm not, kind of love. Different because if somebody didn't speak to me when they saw me, because I've had niggas not speak to me because they with their bitch. And we after that, nigga, it's nothing over but here. See, like I, feel like I ain't that's speaking different. to you no more because you can't speak to me Why in front of everybody. Different? I feel well, like I think it is different. Y'all were niggas. Like, like, see, if it's my friend, I'm not fucking on my friends. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like because you dealt with that and there was that that tie, it changed the situation. Because it's a friend, but it has a history to it. So, so it's kind of different. For me, I feel like it's different because I'm as niggas, right? I feel like as women and this might get me in some trouble, but no, go ahead. Say I feel like as a woman, as a woman, you gotta you gotta deal with that. I got you. We gotta deal with your emotions. It's real. Like you gotta deal with our ego and our pride. I feel like with women, like like you said, if a nigga don't speak to me, then it's a dub. You're never gonna be able to say nothing to me. And it's like never. as a nigga, it's like yo, I don't want to deal with this. What's good? You know what I'm saying. But as a woman, I feel like for men, if you don't speak to me and I see you with your nigga, I'm understand. Like I don't care. Like she with a nigga. Like, but I feel like women don't react in the same way. It's like, oh, you can't speak to me. I thought we was cool. Like, yeah, I, I'm but not. I don't I'm think not, a lot. All, all, a lot of niggas don't think like that. Anybody, I don't think. If you are up now, because I don't know That's what team we playing though, for. Wow. We, we ain't good no more. 
So um, if, if I'm kind of on the same size you? as Alex. So I feel like boom. So like, cause sometimes like you get in a relationship, and sometimes like, for example, like uh, I have a close guy friend. You know what I'm saying? He that we never had no situation, but that's my be- like that's one of my that's my brother, not my best friend. He's my brother, but he has girls, right? If I seen him out with his girls and he didn't speak to me, I'd be like, what the fuck is the problem? Like, we ain't never had nothing. Like, right. why, why well, wouldn't you, you had speak to me? Him, now, if I had something with you, I could understand it, though. Because, like, see, as a female, I'm big on, like, I don't, like, I'm not kicking in with a whole bunch of bitches that my nigga fucking, like, fucked on. Oh, like, wait, no. like, I don't need you. Like, it's it's cool. I get it. Like, you know what I'm saying? But if you're my friend and you don't, it's like, what the fuck is the problem? But see, I feel like, like even with the scenario I told y'all, me and this person, now nah, we were friends. Like yeah. we we did have sex before, but we were not having sex at all anymore, and we were really friends for years without sex. So I feel like if it if the roles reversed and he was out and his because I wasn't with my nigga, but his yeah. people was behind me. If his if he was with like his uh bitch's family or yeah. their friends and he didn't speak to me, I I I ain't with that because it's yeah. like. So you, you can't my say friend, hi. yeah. So it's like, so you my are yeah. you my friend? Because I feel like as a friend, friend, it's friend low key like family. So, like, so it's, yeah, like, so it's like, like it's like, like we're really like family. At all times, times we got to be friends because yeah. if you're not my friend right. around now, them, then you're not my friend. Now you're not my friend in front of anybody. I'm making my duty to speak because honestly, even if I'm with Shadé and she tells me somebody is right there and she don't speak, I'm like, why you ain't now? What I will say is like, for example, there's keywords that I will take away from this. Like Jess said, they ain't have you know sex or anything for years now. I ain't talking about no bitches you was fucking six months to a year ago because at that point, nah, that's not that's, that, not, that's your not friend. That's not your friend. Yeah, yeah, not, yeah, that's not y'all, your friend. Y'all, y'all haven't yeah. exactly known each other long enough. To exactly. Be but even so, an ex, I feel like an ex of five years ago could be your friend. No, I think so. Now, yeah, well, yeah. So, like, like I said, if it was one of my exes, if I, my ex of five years, like I would speak because it ain't like I ain't. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah, in a whole although, although, three, I'm, I'm, I'm a three year if, I'm in a three year relationship. So if our relationship was five years, that's mad long ago. So it's yeah, like if you don't speak, I'm gonna speak. Like, if you don't speak, speak, I'm like, what up, bro? I'm gonna speak to him. If you know, that's if you, fine. Now I ain't gonna lie, this story gonna get me in trouble. But one time I was actually you ain't my, my old fucking nigga, name. So I was gonna get you in trouble because my baby father might. He you know, you know what I tell you about that? Yeah. So you leave your baby for all that shit. <laughs> all right, now I ain't gonna tell the story. Damn, bro. Like, so I got a question. What's up? No, but hold up. I'm gonna tell it because fuck it. Ha, so he was up. my friend. As soon as I, my ex was my friend. See. We hadn't dealt with each other in like two years. He wanted to come and take me out to dinner, but he was coming from like two hours away. Right. So he was when he when he got there, he was my. So I didn't know my baby father was gonna pop up. Right. Usually mm. he out running the streets, so he was home and he the nigga like my daughter knows this nigga everything because we yeah. were together for a minute. So he's like, oh, I'm about to come run in real quick. And um, I told my baby father I was going out for a restaurant week with my homegirls because I was just too scared to take that chance. So the nigga, he gets all the way there. He drove two hours and he's like, um, I, I got to run in and change real quick because I've been driving in this shit. Woo woo. And I was like, I'm not home. So he was like, what? Like, you knew I was coming for a whole. And I was just like, yeah, I was like, I'm sorry. I was like, I'm not home. And he was just like, wow, that's fucked up. But in that situation, I knew that I was saving his life. Because if he would have came in my home and thought he was going to change his motherfucking clothes with my baby father there. It would have been over. Everybody would have been dead. And he, that nigga never spoke to me again. We're not friends at, or anything. And he was friends with my parents, everything. We are no longer friends. Man. Question. Man. Random scenario, right? So you had a one night stand, right? What the fuck? Never seen a person again. You go to a bar, you see the person, haven't talked to them since, and they try to approach you. Do you tell the nigga, the person that you were with, that you had a one night stand, or do you Hell introduce them no. you as your me. friend? I don't even introduce them as a friend. I don't know who but the if fuck I don't, is. But if they try to come but to you and have a conversation. But if I had a, a one night stand with you, you're irrelevant. Yeah, like, who are you? Like, who are you? I know so, you from where? I, so, from nah, who? I don't know so, you. So, you mean to so, tell me you, you speak to relevant, every bitch if they you come, If they come up to you. Hold up, hold up. Every bitch is getting spoke to because I fuck you. Fuck you. You got access. So, Shade is the same person, right? Same person. Oh boy. That if I if I smash the girl, right? Mm-hmm. She can mean nothing to me. E be irrelevant. <laughs> but they attract to Sade because she's cool. I'm supposed to tell her that I fucked her. Yes. But now yes. they're irrelevant. It's different because cool. they're, they're trying cool. to be friends with yeah. me. Like, but if why, what, like, why, why, like, no, but if I'm like, oh girl, I can do your hair. But it's I like you know. need to so, let me I know. Feel, I, know I feel like for me, I feel like that's kind of being a hater no, because I'm a hater. I'm gonna say why because it's like, yo. 
Y'all could have a dope ass friendship, but now I because hate I tell you, with now, this the, shit, now bro. because I tell you that we did something, it, and we we, we don't have no relationship. Something. Now I tell you that now you missed out on a great friendship. But here's the thing, that's in your, like <laughs> what? it doesn't make sense to me. Like first, first of, of all, all time out, it ain't no great friendship <laughs> anyway. Because if she didn't tell me she fucked you, because she ain't gonna come tell me. That's the thing. You're not my friend. Not, the bitch bitches not gonna come tell sleeping. me like, oh, I fucked you. You know why? Because she thinks she's gonna fuck again. Exactly. She's gonna keep talking. That's why you need to She's gonna be doing my hair. She's gonna be have hairdresser talk. Yep. with me and she got the whole time in the gonna, back of her mind she's like yeah fuck this girl nigga she's telling all her, her friends all her, she's telling her clients like yeah girl she, you know guess is. who girl coming to guess who girl coming to get her hair done by me you know i used to fuck that nigga i used to suck his dick and then word of mouth that, spreads that, it gets that, back now to me. i'm the bitch so, that's getting her hair now i gotta shoot both of y'all now i gotta shoot all of them that's how y'all be saying y'all be like oh i used to now everybody gotta ask you a question yeah what if it's not that though what if she really is cool with you and she's not you're not cool with me if you didn't tell me that like it's either we know y'all saying that whole time she really want to be the number one draft pick. It be like yeah, that though. It'd it be, be like that more times than none is that. And, and or even she want to come off the bench. Here's the thing. Even if she doesn't she want you at a time. She, 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 she ain't making past the combine, bro. She ain't making past the combine. That's all. People are just as competitive as niggas. So even if she don't want to come off the bench, it's the fact that like every girl wants to feel like that nigga like me more than he like anybody. I got this So like ex. Every time he get a bitch, I hit him up. Just to see if I could still, you know what I'm saying? Podcast over. See, that's this is projection. toxic You're shit. You're projecting your energy on somebody it's else. You don't even know that. No, here. no, because it's we're competitive too. That's fair. We Let should find out be competitive as well. Current girlfriend is texting her ex every time. I don't have a boyfriend though, so I can do see. That I understand, single, but single. I'm just single. saying. I said right, when he gets a bitch, I always hit him up. Just so would you hit him up so if you were in a relationship? No, fuck that nigga. I was I've done it. Been in a relationship. I ain't talking to you. But when he gets in one, I'd be like. Oh, I'm just. We I gotta. Just love to I see think so the, the conclusion of this conversation. We gotta be careful of those on the bench because they fighting for that number one spot. Period. Watch out for them number one draft picks. <coughs> and for the men too, because men be fighting no, for no. that number watch one spot. No, no. Watch out for them too. undrafted. That's what she need to watch about. Watch out for the undrafted free, free agents. <laughs> undrafted free agents. <laughs> yo, Jim and Oscar, yo podcast episode uh, fifty two. See you next year, yo. See you in twenty twenty one. How y'all feeling, man? Like I feel great. What do y'all feel Shout about out to the, the gang? I know we talk about this on a lot, but we got shit coming too, y'all. Yeah. We got Hell shit on yeah. the way. We got merch. We, we got, got more merch because we the sold out game. from the live show. We got a, a dope ass card game, perfect for quarantine. Yes, sir. It's coming. Couple weeks. Get y'all orders ready. Let's right, talk about how up. do y'all feel about like everything since the um viral shit. Like, Yo, it's nah. Been a it's long uh, hold up. Week. Are we are we recording still? Yeah. Yes. All right. PSA. Because I just want to say this. Public servants. I don't mind. I don't mind people having an opinion. Right. That don't get to me. Like. From what I come from, that shit don't mean nothing. Strangers, say whatever the fuck you want. Y'all don't know me for real. But since that viral moment, there's been people from this area that have been trying to, like, make a running joke out of me with shit that has nothing to do with that clip. Just, like, what I wear or whatever. And I just want to let y'all know, don't get it twisted, okay? Period. And I ain't going to say too much, but Period. I'm outside. I'm in D.C. I'm in Maryland. Uh, What? Where, where y'all be at? Northern Virginia? I'm everywhere i'm outside so don't think that you're gonna make a hee hee ha ha joke out of me on the internet and i ain't gonna smack the shit out you when i see you and that's on the set and you know it's just one of those things it's like you know they say like people where you from they hit you the most like you know a lot of the greats would say like you know like where you from they show you until everybody until you get the national credit they don't really give you no credit you get what i'm saying and it's just one of those things it's like bro you need to represent for the people in your hometown because those is going to be the ones who open the doors for everybody. But when a smile in my face every time they see me, though, that's what I'm saying. But it's like, nah, see, I don't mind a stranger doing it because you don't know me. Right. But a motherfucker who know me or seeing you, now nah, I got to stop the shit out you because you are doing and it, this. And to, it's also you're like, doing what's up it on with purpose. the hate? What's up with like, the with hate? That, like, oh, you, it's, it's really zero dollars to show love. You can show love for free Absolutely. or just don't say I nothing agree. at all. Oh, don't say nothing. Just, you don't have to say nothing. And I think like, even though in the times of the internet, I understand the internet, but people who, and I can understand what you're saying, like people who live here and people who are here, like, you know, like, we're, we're not in all. Y'all know, know, we're not in all. Y'all know what time it is with me. So why even try to be a part of the also We're not in no rural city. I know y'all like, I, I talk about like the rural cities like the people in the smaller cities like it's only like five major cities in the world you know what i'm saying yeah. so the people are here like bro everybody grinding everybody, everybody's trying to do something just support the people that's and around everybody you everybody knows they, everybody yeah, like so, so why it's, are it's you not hating? cool like honestly it's not cool to show that type of hate because you're not in a struggle city where you can't make it out or i can't do something for you but you know what's you, you know what saying? the problem is the problem is you are struggling and you see that i'm not so now instead of to finding out what I did 
you hate on it. Now you're never going to make it out and I'm going to still make it out. And then what? And I can still beat you up. <laughs> Period. What I will say hands, is, you know, hands on two piece combo from Popeyes. Are, Period. I definitely appreciate Fuck McDonald's. The, the I take you straight to motherfucking you know, Popeyes. Okay. You want the two piece? The lives. I gotta give Sade her flowers because the ad lives been. You know. Yeah, she been coming. She been coming hard, hard recently with them. Well, I would say so shout out to <laughs> the real, I do. Shout out to the real supporters, the people that um that stayed, the retention behind yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? The people that actually stayed to watch the podcast. Yeah. yeah we appreciate you. We appreciate all of the newer supporters. Um, even all the critiques, you get what I'm saying? Like, I don't really give a fuck about it, but I can't right. lie and say some critiques do help. Yeah. So, um, shout out to y'all, shout, uh, but uh, definitely shout out to the ones that subscribe to the page and actually checking for it now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We appreciate that. And Thank shout you. out to, again, to the Queen yes, Vibe guys. Collection. Shout Genuine out to that leather. Black Queen. I love a Black woman or men on a shit and doing a thing like you Mahi's know it, it, like i said too. mahi's oh, yeah. brandy black come on I'm mahi's been showing up see we putting on we yeah, doing it for like black exactly. owned and y'all out here hating that's you can't not do right that. don't do that yeah. to your people don't yeah, do that man. to your and people if you fuck with us fuck with us fuck with us for mm. real in real life and if you don't fuck you and that's yeah. on on that's on a set period. gemini scorpio podcast episode 52 we out, we out. Bye.